everybody it's me again aqua star i have been playing red dead redemption 2 online and i thought it'd be nice to have you guys tag along with me for a little while and show you what the game's like um i just recently just about a week or two ago got i mean i've been playing red dead 2 for the past couple years on and off and beat it several months ago and then recently I finally got my stimulus, so I thought I'm going to try Red Dead Redemption online. Let's see what this is all about. And I will tell you guys, it is worth it. It's definitely worth joining the PlayStation Network thing for like $10 a month. It is definitely worth it. What's cool is, is you can definitely like customize your character, your horses, um, your equipment, which in... The original base game, you can do that too, but you can't customize your character characters, like in the sense of making your own character and stuff. So like in this, obviously, you can be a woman, which is awesome to me because clearly I am a woman. And this actually looks a lot like me uh, in the face. I am chubbier than this. <laughs> My character is technically overweight, but I'm much fatter than this. Um, but in the face, I literally look so much like that, and my hair looks like that too. So... Uh, this game's definitely worth it. I wish I had done this a year or two ago. Got uh, online with this game. Um, just opened up this whole other field of play for this game with me. There's a storyline. There's so many things to do. You get to play with other people. But I will say this. <laughs> if you're thinking about getting online with any game, and I'll talk in particular about this one, with online where you're playing with other people... Uh, just be ready. Be ready because the minute I joined this game online and I was like level one, I got attacked. These people were like level 150 and they freaking attacked me. These people are jerks. They are. For lack of a better word, these guys are just absolute tools. They're jerks. They want to ruin everybody's experience. They build themselves up really high and then just crap on everybody else. It's terrible. So... What you can do with this game in particular, Red Dead Redemption Online 2, is if you're on PlayStation 4, you push left on the D-pad, which is like the little arrows, uh, go down to online options, and you want to change your playing style to defensive. You have offensive and defensive. Defensive is going to protect you a lot from other players, and this includes on some missions too, like your trading missions and such, <laughs> which is great. Um... Because if you don't do that, like, this should be the first thing as soon as you join Red Dead Redemption Online. The first thing you should do is this. Because the other players, most other players will absolutely tear you to pieces. They'll keep tearing you up where, like, instilling your stuff and doing everything to you to where you can't get ahead. Like, you absolutely can't get far in the game at all. So, okay, Mom, thank you. So, you do have to switch that to uh, defensive mode. It sucks. I wanted to come in here and, yeah, I understand that I might get attacked sometimes, and that's okay. That's understandable. But I was getting attacked constantly. Like, when I was level 2, you know, I had just been in the game 10 minutes, and they were just attacking me, and then I would respawn, and they'd come attack me again. And so these people are shit. So what I've done is, is I have saved their names. And once I get up to level 200, I'm going to try to find those fuckers. I sure am. Evil little shits. Um, anyway, excuse my language. But yeah, I thought I would just show everybody, all my followers, what this game is like. Uh, you can set up your camp. Your camp, unlike in the base game... Uh, the camp is, like, it can change locations everywhere, and it's a lot more extensive. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, I thought I had health care. Okay, let's do this. Um, 
But yeah, obviously the number one reason why I, I really wanted to do online is the character customization, the like being able to be a girl. Because in the baseline game, playing as Arthur and then John, that's nice and all, but I love any game that allows me to create my own character. Any game. So, yeah, this is awesome. Everything's kind of expensive, but there's definitely ways to earn gold and cash on this game online. So it's not it's not that big of a deal. Um, they've got a few new horses and new colors and things like that. I think they also have a couple new breeds of dogs you can add to your camp. I really wish they had more. Maybe they do. It's just where I'm not far enough in the game. Um, let's see, oregano. I don't really need that so much. Yeah, we'll just do this. Yeah, we'll just do this. Um, but yeah, this is a really nice game. I'm so glad I did it. I wish I'd have done it before. And at least over the next couple months, I'm going to keep my subscription, uh, online subscription, to be able to keep playing this game. I really want to level myself up and get some of these people back. And then honestly level myself up high enough where I can play without being in defensive mode. You know, because... I simply didn't have the strength, the weapons yet to be able to defend myself. So it was ridiculous, dude. Just be ready. If you get on here, if you want to build yourself even up to level 5 or 10 before you face other players, like I highly suggest it. In fact, I think that you should stay in defensive mode till you're at least level 20. Otherwise, you're just going to keep getting knocked down, not be able to get back up. You know, people's going to tear you down where you can't get yourself built up. You can't get the money to get those better weapons and stuff. So, yeah, it just shows how sadistic and shitty people are. <laughs> you know how it is, honey. Now, I won't be like... Um, I won't be like going crazy into detail about this game because I'm more or less just here to spend time with people and talk. Uh, my fiance is still in bed. Usually we talk around this time, but he's asleep. He's been working a lot. Um, but yeah, how's everybody been? My fish are okay. Unfortunately, um, a couple months ago, little Charlotte died. She got a bad case of swim bladder and was floating at the surface and it was um, making her giving her big sores on her side so I had to I had to just put her to sleep after a couple weeks like that because it was just I knew it was so painful for her um she didn't look like she felt good at all and then just a couple weeks after I had to put her down Nesbitt stopped eating just flat out stopped eating I tried and tried um he would not start eating and I will say this Nesbitt and Charlotte were little friends. They were. I know it sounds crazy talking about a fish, um, a goldfish, and saying this, but yeah, they they really liked each other. Nesbitt, in particular, was really attached to Charlotte. Like, if I took them out of the tank from each other, one was in one tank and the other was in the other, um, they were okay. Like, they didn't ask, act depressed or nothing, but whenever I would reunite them, Nesbitt would chase charlotte around or not really chase but just kind of follow her around and they would sleep together they would eat together eat together they'd go around and hen and peck peck and stuff graze together so just really sad that i lost those two um i've been having problems with my fish getting swim bladder that's what happened to gus last year that's what happened to charlotte um and now clovis for the past four months his swim bladder is out like it's damaged beyond repair and, um, yeah, and he's on his side, but what I do is, is every day or every other day, I flip him side to side and he's down at the bottom of the tank. Thank God. If you have a fish that has swim bladder disease, but it's stuck at the bottom of the tank rather than up at the top, you can actually get a few more months out of that fish. And if he's eating and begging, he's just down at the bottom of the tank, feed him. He's going to be okay. Clovis is super happy. 
He flops around. He begs for food. He loves when I pick him up. I sit him up. I'll feed him and actually sit him up with my hand while he can chew and feel normal again for a minute being upright. And then I rotate him from side to side every couple days to keep it from getting too raw. And I have a lot of Eps or not Epsom salt, rather a lot of aquarium salt in the tank right now to keep her to keep his wounds nice and clean, and to kind of give him a little bit of relief. Uh, so, but God bless him. I love Clovis. But yeah, if your fish ever get swim bladder disease, your goldfish, and they're um, stuck at the bottom of the tank and not at the top, they can actually live and live a, live for several months. But I'll say this, if you have a lot of gravel at the bottom of your tank, though, they're not going to do as good. My tank's mostly bare at the bottom with just a few big stones in there. So Clovis does pretty good getting around and he doesn't get stuck on stuff. Nothing's rubbing his sides real sharply. But if I had a bunch of gravel and a certain kind of substrate, he maybe wouldn't fare so well. Even if it was sand, I bet it would go into his gills and stuff because his gills like right on the ground. But where it's mostly like half, you know, um, hold on guys, I can see somebody commented. I'll get on there in a minute and see who commented. But where he's um, mostly on a flat bottom tank, he's doing great. Like he's doing great, so. But yeah, other than that, everybody's okay. My fish are okay. I keep saying it. I got to do a video to update you guys soon. I just haven't been doing it. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I need to show you guys my fish and... Wait a minute. My controller's vibrating. That means that I'm around something useful. I wonder what that is. Ooh, nice. So online, Red Dead on online, you have these collectible things. Um, you have these different roles, bounty hunter, trader, natural naturalist, and collector. And collecting artifacts antiques and even wild certain kind of wildflowers and if you get this whole collection set you can then take it to madame nazar and sell it for 155 dollars but you can also go in and sell them individually like if i wanted to go on and turn these in i could and get a little bit of money if i really needed it and she gives you a good price she gives you 10 15 dollars which in this game is a lot so Okay, hold on guys, let me get up on my horse and see who left a comment. Just give me a minute, it's all right. Let me turn the sound off of my phone. Hey, hi Mr. Jeremy, it's nice to see you. So this game definitely was worth joining the PlayStation Network or whatever it's called. Hold on, I just heard something. Oh, that's me. That's me talking on my phone. Hold on. <laughs> you got it on PC. That's cool. Oh, that's good. Yep, I'm on PlayStation 4. I love my PlayStation, son. I've had them since 1996. You know how it is. But if I could have games on PC, I would too. It's just I never could take care of a PC really well. Let's see. All right. So we've got all these different things that we can do. We can go do bounties. <laughs> yeah, we can go do bounties. Uh, let's see what else. I kind of want to do more trading missions because it's really easy. I mean, it really is. Trading on here, the trader role is really easy and you make good money. Um, and all you got to do is hunt. And the only thing that really happens to you is whenever you're driving it to town to the destination, it, uh, like, you might get attacked, you know, of course. So let's go see what my supplies are like with crypts over here. Probably have to go hunt down some stuff. Oh, yeah, see? Yeah, okay. Let's go hunt first, and then we'll order supplies, or we'll do the supply mission. Get some turquoise, bitch! Come on! 
Now, one thing I did do, if you notice, I have a pretty nice horse, and I'm only like level 23. Um, this is the uh, Mustang. This is one of the Mustangs. And I bought him with gold. I think he was like 20 gold, 20 or 25 gold. Um, I bought him when I was like level 5 or 10. Uh, it's like I started off with gold, and then I earned some. And then I bought some. I went on and put in like five bucks and bought some gold from the game. Because the horse I had, the Kentucky Saddler, was terrible. Like anytime I was trying to get away from people or trying to run a mission, like it wasn't fast. Its stamina was so low, even after I leveled it up. So I thought, man, I got to get a better horse. And the Mustang's cool. Like he's really cool. He's really pretty and he's fast. Uh, and his stamina, the Mustang stamina is why I really went for it. His stamina is great. Like, I can run from anybody. But the only thing I'll say about him is, is he will buck you a lot. Can you steal him? But can you, like, can you put him in your stable, though? Can you make them officially your horse, though? Because I captured a wild horse thinking that I could stable them and it wouldn't let me. But if you can steal him from town, maybe, like, do they let you put it in the stable? Let me see what you said. Yeah, see, that's the thing is I want it to be my horse. What I'm afraid of is, is like, stealing it. And then, like, I jump off my horse to go do something, and it gets scared and runs off, or I get too far away from it, and then it just, just disappears. Like, that happened to me a couple times. Yeah, I don't think that, yeah, I don't think it does. But in the base game, it would. It would let you steal horses or catch wild horses and then stable them. But this online obviously doesn't. So I went on and bought the Mustang. Because those Morgans and Kentucky Sattlers are crap. Just can't get away from nobody. I couldn't chase down game or nothing. It's terrible. I really didn't want to put, like, real money into the game, but I only spent, like, you know, like, $5, so it wasn't a big deal. Ooh. Now, one thing I've noticed is, is you can pick out good deer by how white their butt is. If their butt's really white, it's usually a really good deer. Come on, honey. I'm coming to get you, ho. Um, and if you don't have a good enough weapon yet to take down deer like this without destroying its quality, you can use the rope. And I went on and invested, like I earned the money and invested in the reinforced lasso because um, when I was doing bounties with the regular rope, like they kept busting out. <laughs> they kept getting out of the rope. And I think it was pretty expensive too. The reinforced lasso is pretty expensive. It was like $300. I had to hustle for a while to get that. And whenever you're doing the trading role and you're going back to Crips to donate your stuff, it is typically better to give him a whole animal instead of, like, just the hides and stuff. And he won't take meat. He doesn't take meat. So it's just better to um, just give him the full animal, you know. Now, these golden currents, I don't know what these are used for. But I'm going to get them anyway. Over there's Beecher's Hope where John set up his homestead. One thing I got kind of disappointed with the base game with was uh, how you set up home with Abigail and stuff. But you can't really, like, there's nothing else really to do after that. After you beat the game as Arthur... There really wasn't nothing I could do much. You know what I mean? Like with John. Let's check this out. Yeah, that would be really cool. Yeah, that, would, that sounds really good. That would be really nice. Now, once I level myself up in this game, it'll probably take me a couple months and stuff, and I get tired of it, I'm going to have to start looking at other games. And always make sure to go into all these, like, little abandoned 
places and even houses where it looks like there's people living in it if you don't see nobody on the outside there probably isn't nobody on the inside um, even if their lights are on and stuff you can go in there and find like antique bottles uh, for Madame Nazar and uh, tarot cards and uh, supplies like canned vegetables and stuff so always check out these like abandoned houses and stuff sometimes abandoned wagons too Hey, honey, how are you? I'm just hanging out. My fish are doing pretty good. I lost Charlotte and Nesbitt. Charlotte died of um, swim bladder disease. She was floating at the top, getting big sores. Let's go on and just drop off this, this deer. And then actually, I think I might go and um, go search some abandoned places. Let's do that. I've been meaning to do that. Woo, Nelly, Nelly. Yeah, and then Nesbitt died not long after Charlotte because he just stopped eating. After she died, like within two weeks, he died. And I'm telling you, man, you go back on some of my fish videos, I talked about it. Nesbitt liked Charlotte a lot. He sure did. I mean, I know it's weird. They're fish. But it seems like he got super depressed after I had to put Charlotte to sleep. So. Now, you guys, I am on TikTok. And my name on TikTok is Aquastar underscore. That's it. Aquastar underscore. Um, and I have some videos of my fish on there, too. A few. <coughs> Excuse me. And you guys can see what I look like. And, and some of those videos I did, like... Uh, self-confidence type videos so don't think I'm conceited it's just me trying to feel better about myself <laughs> you know how it is honey Supply yeah let's go on and down fast. oh shut up I don't see you out there hunting yeah let's go on and donate Good these uh, actually we'll go on and um I'm not gonna do the mission I'm too lazy Yeah, they do. Yep, sometimes they do. They really do. They yeah, die in um, in pairs or groups. You had twelve at first. Mm. Oh, honey, I'm so sorry. That's oh. I don't want to rush you, but I'm so sorry. That's it's so hard. It really is. Now, last year when little Gus died. He died two days after my pug did, my pug Xanadu. She was 11, so she wasn't exactly old, but she still was really healthy, and she died really suddenly. So I was, and she was one of the ones I was the closest to, so I was just devastated. I still am. Today I woke, woke up crying over her. But Gus died two, two days after she did. And, um... Yeah, let's go on and do this. And it, I couldn't even properly mourn right, Gus huh? because of I was still no upset over Xanadu. We are making something of ourselves. Now this might even put a smile on your face. It's time to make a sale. I found some buyers locally, and not the highest price, but easy money. And easy I'll money. Over hard any day. I like this guy. He has he has a cool face. He looks realistic. I'll say this too, you ever go to play this game and you're making your own character, make sure that you really make your character the way you want them to look because you have to pay gold to go back and edit yourself. And when I first made my character, in the editing, it looked a lot like me. Like this girl looks like me, okay? Like now she does. That, well, I'll get down there where you can see her here in a second. But, um... In the editing her, she looked a lot like me, but when I actually got into the game, like right now, this, it looked scary. Like it didn't even, it did not look like me. It looked like a demon. So I spent like 10 or 11 gold and went back and uh, re-edited myself. And I should have made maybe like a false character so I wouldn't be so picky, but I wanted me. I wanted to see me in the West, honey. That's me. That looks like me in the face. And the hair. <laughs> I had to. It was too tempting. Yeah. 
Now this is going to be pretty easy. Let's go on and get our gun ready because we're probably going to get attacked at some point. Ooh. Now remember, wherever you set your camp will definitely affect you on your missions, like trading, for example. I was down in like down in this other area earlier and doing these was a lot easier. There wasn't no mountains, there wasn't no hills, you know, so, but I moved my camp and now I've got a little bit tougher terrain to manage. Hold on guys, let me see what you said. <laughs> oh God, I know, yeah. My fiance says that about my fish all the time. He's like, Go fry it. Go fry it right now. You know you want it. And I'm like, oh, God, honey, stop. That's traumatizing. <laughs> yeah, my, yeah, my fiance, he, he says stuff like that just because he knows. He knows it makes, it makes me sad. <laughs> Dude, I think I hear a bear. Hold on. Yeah, it's attacking that guy. Watch. Come on, buddy. Now, I don't know if it'll let me pick up this hide, but let's just see. I had to kill him, though, because he would have ended up trying to attack me, and I ain't... I ain't playing like that yet. Oh, thank you. Uh, let's see. Will it let me? I should have just left it. It's low quality. Now, I wonder if it'll let me put in the put it in the back. That'd be cool. It would. It probably won't. Oh, well. At least I got the meat from it. The pelt ain't going to be worth much anyway. All right. Let's go. But yeah, I, I had to kill him. He would have attacked me. I actually get really sad when I have to kill some animals on here. Like when I have to kill the deer and... But honestly, the trader role, what I'm doing right now is, is one of the easiest ways to make money, actual money in this game. Doesn't make as much gold. If you want gold, you want to do like kind of like the bounty missions. But I love it. I love how you can edit yourself like your skin color you can make yourself a woman i wanted to be a girl so bad in this game you can make yourself different skin tones oh uh heritage like ethnicities and stuff like there's like indian and um african-american and like just other you know like uh, i think asian too actually so that's cool Yeah, I miss my fish. I, I I hate when they die. It's so heartbreaking. I really miss Gus. He was about my... I think he was probably the friendliest fish I've ever had. Even back the early 2000s when I kept fish. Um, I had some really nice ones too. And I still got a lot of nice ones. But um, Gus, I'd say, is the friendliest fish I ever had. And when he died, I was so sad. I was so, so sad. Well, I had to put him to sleep. And I fed him. I gave him two big mouthfuls of food and put him to sleep. So he died happy. He died doing what he loves. I try to do that with every fish I have to put to sleep. I always try to feed them. Nesbitt wouldn't let me. He was just done. I, I think he missed Charlotte. I really do. I know there's some people who laugh at me about that, but I really think he missed her. But yeah, it is. It's so sad. It's hard, man. Keeping pets is rough. And it hurts me when my fish die, but we lost all three. All three of our pugs in 2020. And the first one Xanadu was very unexpected. Very unexpected. They all died within five months of each other. And I bred them. I birthed them. Like, I bred them myself. And I bottle fed them and stuff. So I was incredibly attached to 
to our dogs. All of us were. But yeah, it hurts when any pet dies. But to me, especially like a dog, it just... Tra it's like a person to me, basically. Traumatize me. She was so Xanadu was so sweet. Such a sweet dog. Funny, real goofy, real positive and optimistic. Very sweet little thing. We do have a, another dog now. Um, <clears throat> it's a long-haired chihuahua. Her name's Gypsy. She's uh, nine months old. Very, very, very intelligent dog. She was house broke within a week. With a broken leg, too. <laughs> she broke her leg five days after I got her. Me and uh, my fiance had to go in half. Three grand. Three grand and a thousand in, in vet bills afterwards. So four grand on her to get her leg fixed. If you get a small dog, don't put them up on the bed and leave them alone. Because they will jump off and break their leg. Possibly. <laughs> Pugs are small, but our pugs were big. They weighed like 30 pounds, and then pugs are real thick. Their legs are thick. Their bones are thick, but chihuahuas are dainty. I'm gonna have to hurry this up, because I bet I have to do some battling when I get here. Yeah, I've been meaning to make some fish videos and update you guys, and I keep saying I'm going to, and then I just get into other things. I've just been through so much. I lost all my dogs. I had to quit my job. I'd been there five and a half years. I had to quit because of COVID. Um, and personality differences up there. We got some new management up there, and they're jerks. Okay, hold on, guys. I'll be quiet for a while. Come on, get out. Come on, don't shoot the horse, bitch. Ah! Oh, man. Hold on. Get my headset on. Shut up. Everybody, shut up. They're gonna keep coming too. It, it, the game doesn't. The game doesn't favor you and give you a break. That's for sure. What the hell is this? Oh, oh, are you the good guy? Oh no, you're not. Sorry, dude. Die. I'm so tired of it. See? Just keep coming and coming and coming. Get down there. Shoot, I'm gonna shoot that guy. I'm gonna shoot my ally. Dude, I'm shooting that guy so many times. You guys ain't ruining my money. Shove that guy up against that that wagon and blew his head off. Ah, <laughs> God! I swear I'm usually not a violent gamer. I swear. Oh, you're a new mom all over. Let's see. Oh, well, good. Congratulations, honey. Um, lock on that left. That uh, L2 lock on is how I do it. <laughs> but you still, yeah, it still requires some like navigating with it. Yeah. Hold on, honey. Um, all congratulations, honey. Well, that's awesome. Yeah, just wait. 
yeah, just wait. He's you guys have time to get a dog. You could wait a couple years, you know, or at least until the youngest is in preschool or something. And then that way, they can help with the responsibilities. Um, it won't overload you, you know. Now, I'm actually surprised that it's letting me. It's keeping these dead bodies here because usually it takes them away and I can't loot them. Now, I'm not usually into kind of violent games. I'm really not. Like, Call of Duty, I've never played it. I'll never play it because it's... I don't know. I need a good storyline or there has to be something about it like Red Dead Redemption. It's like the Wild West, you know, so there's that element there. Oh, God, I didn't mean to do... I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I didn't mean to kick him. <clears throat> but because it's the Wild West and then you got the horses and the this and that so then it compelled me to this game and there's a lot of collecting there's a there's beautiful land like the landscape on here is awesome and horizon zero dawn i don't know if you guys have heard of that or played it it's only for ps4 though horizon zero dawn is epic epic i'm telling you that game is beautiful the storyline is incredible the character is incredible all the characters are um, amazing game. I can't wait to get a PS5 and try the new one. Man. Let's see, this is vibrating. It means there's something collectible around. Let's see. Getting weaker. Maybe it's up there on that ladder or something collectible, but let's just see. Let's keep roaming around and see. I bet it's up here. Let's go up there. Yeah, Horizon Zero Dawn. Man, the scenery and stuff is incredible. What I like about it, too, is the female protagonist, the female main character, Aloy, isn't dressed slutty. Nope, that's not what her character is based on, like Tomb Raider or, you know, some of those other games, even Resident Evil. Aloy's just a tough girl out there fighting the world, man. I love it. And the scenery is incredible. I've been gaming since I was six. Whoa. My first uh, console was Atari, 1989. Me and dad. And my favorite game was Joust. Let's see. Something that's gonna raise all three. Oh, come on now. Stop giving me a hard time. There we go. Yeah, this horse is really good, the Mustang. The only thing about it is, is he will buck you, though, even after you bond with him. I am, man. I'm telling you, I've been doing it forever. I've been gaming since the Atari days. <laughs> <laughs> like most of these online players I do encounter are like, I've been gaming since 2003. I know what I'm talking about. I'm like, 1989, honey, you ain't got nothing on me. <laughs> these little kids. And a lot of the real mean gamers are little kids, too. It's weird. I'm real nice to everybody on here. I like wave at everybody and stuff, and they just want to kill me and take my stuff. That's no, you know what? That's all right. That's all right. I'm going to go into defensive mode. I'm going to build my character up. And then when I get out there and put myself out there again, honey, I ain't going to play. I'm not, I'm not going to play those, those sadistic games with these people. Now I've never played that. I've never played Grand Theft Auto. And, and I'll tell you why. Um, well, number one, it's modern. You know what I mean? It's kind of like a modern game. Um, 
like what I said, I like games that like have something about them. Like I love Zelda. I love Horizon Zero Dawn. The whole story of it and stuff's awesome. And it's set like in the future, but it almost looks like it's in the past. Far Cry Primal was good too. Um, and then like this game. But the reason why I wouldn't play Grand Theft Auto is, is a lot of the advertisements I've seen for it, it was like showing prostitutes and stuff. And I don't know, it just, I felt bad. I was like, man, that kind of sucks. And then it's modern too, so it doesn't interest me as much. Now this can give me anxiety too, actually. This, <laughs> any game can give me anxiety. Back in December and January, I was going through a Resident Evil phase. I played Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. I bought the uh, remake for PS4 for Resident Evil 2, which was really great. And I want to get Nemesis, too. I love Nemesis. Resident Evil 3 Nemesis in the 90s was awesome. Um, and I got anxiety on Resident Evil bad, but I still love it. I <laughs> love it so much. All right, let's see. What can we do next? Let's go, um, actually, let's go and start looking for houses. Like, let's go back over here and see if we can get in this person's house and find some goodies. This could be a dirty little faith. Now, I have a really good reputation on here, as you can see on the far right. <laughs> I'm all the way in the white because I take care of my horse and I wave at everybody. But I've already gotten the uh, the little awards for doing that. So I will start going evil here soon. Once I build myself up a little bit, I can defend myself more. But you can still sneak around and steal stuff and nobody has to know, honey. Nobody has to know. But you and the Lord. <laughs> Let's see. There might be something we can steal. Because remember, there's collectible stuff you can take to Madame Nazar, and she'll give you good money for it, man. Oh, yeah. That's the way I was with my dad. I used to watch him play Resident Evil all the time. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Yeah, I love watching people. I like watching people play any kind of game, but you're right. Like, the scary type games are really fun to watch people play. Mm-hmm. I get online and watch people play stuff all the time. Oh, that woman's out. <clears throat> I'm not doing anything. I was just tying my shoes. Let's see. Sounds like they got a little dog. I wonder if you can get little dogs on this game. guys wanting help. I don't want to do it because it's going to set me into offensive mode. Yeah, let's go find somewhere else to search. These people are home. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one thing about these missions to these uh, little people stand, those little, see that little peach colored circle back there and a guy waving? Those are stranger missions. You don't have to do them. They're kind of fun to do sometimes, but one thing about them is, is they don't pay you much. And a lot of times you use a lot of your health items during that mission or a lot of your bullets you have to go clean your gun afterwards and you end up like making like a dollar profit off of that so i just stick to the professions on here and uh if you want to make extra money find the collectibles you know those things right, let's go around and see if we can find some houses now this is like a railroad thing I think yeah they do jump out oh yeah honey now this is the yeah that's the stop for the railroad okay let's look at the map real quick there are some houses I kind of want to go down to Wow, I went down south, man. I'm by Armadillo. I didn't realize I went down that far. 
Uh, let's see. Let's try to find some houses to get into. And I know I've seen some. I know there's some way over here, like, that I was wanting to get into. These rich Braithwaite people are really wealthy. And these houses I think I got into. But let's go try these. What I've noticed, too, is if you go into a house and you find, let's say, a tarot card and you go sell it to Madame Nazar, and then if you go back, that I think that tarot card's there again. If I'm right, what happened to me, and it happened a few different times with different collectibles, it was, it was respawned. Like, you can go back and get it. What the heck's that? It's an old wagon. Yeah. some turkeys oh oh this is Harriet isn't it yeah I don't want to do that stuff yet we'll get into that sometime Woo. now I did some bounties uh, I watched this guy on YouTube saying that the bounty career is a good way to make gold and that it's the easiest no I, I would have to say that the trader role, what I just did, hunting, giving it to Crips, getting supplies, and then running it to wherever, whoever wants it, is easiest, it really is. But it doesn't bring us in as much gold. And the bounties, too, man, I didn't always succeed at those. I would get defeated, man, I would get killed. Or I'd end up spending so much money in the end and ammo and health potions that it was like I didn't even make as much of a profit profit as I wanted to so it's crazy but yeah it's good for gold and there's other unlockables you can get for leveling up on any career on here I'll just call it a career see I guess there's houses up here let's go see Oh, shit. You think you own... Oh, man, it ain't shooting. It wasn't shooting. Why is it doing that? No. Uh-uh, honey. See? I'm sorry. I didn't want to do that to you. Uh... Yeah, let's just pick it up. Man, it's down there suffering. We'll take him back to Crips here in a minute and donate him. It's pretty good quality. Did he die? Yeah, I don't see him. I don't want to go watch it suffer anyway. Uh, ah! Why'd she do that for? Okay, let's see. But yeah, I love this. I love how you can make yourself a girl on here because I wanted that so bad. I needed that. Yeah. Hi, girls. How are you, honey? All right. Let's go see. Pick some of this. Now, I don't know what Sage does on here, but I know you can feed it to your horse. We'll end up finding some more houses, too. Ooh, that's a ram. Shoot. What? Oh, my God, it's dead. Wait, I just... So, hey, do you want to die? I just walked by something and it asked me to, like, pick it up or something. What did I... Is it this? Oh, it is. Good. It's oregano. Good. Always pick up as many herbs as you can whenever you see them. Just go on and pick them up because you're going to need them in your cooking. And these herbs are the oregano, the wild mint, the thymes are what, um, when you go to cook at your camp, let's say you take some of your pork, you know, you mix it with the oregano and you can make some really good meat out of that where it'll lift up your cores, your, 
you know, give you gold bars all day, all that good stuff. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, oh, God. Oh, Lord. Ooh, ooh, that's scary. I like that, though. I like how there's weird stuff in this game. And they should have put something in here to collect. Come on now. Look, there's his feet. Man, that's sad. Oh, yeah, it's that oregano. Looks like Indians got him, but I don't think there's any Indians in this game. Just somebody with arrows. Oh, there ain't nothing up here. Is there an... Oh, yeah, over here's one. Let's go over here. I get so nervous whenever I hear a horse running up because I think it's a, a player coming to blow my head off. I don't understand, like, why people are so mean. I mean, I guess that is part of the fun, though, is, like, battling real people in here as opposed to the artificial intelligence of the game. But I don't understand why people want to kill somebody that's a level 1 and they're a level 200. That's crazy. And they did. Yeah, they did. <laughs> they blew him out of the window. He was like... They came in the house and shot him and he got blown out the window and his shoe fell off in the process. Man, look, that tree fell on the house. That's awesome. I wonder if I can use that. Oh, okay, I can get in there. All right. Now, whenever I go into buildings, I usually go into first-person mode like this so I can see a little bit better. Oh, look. Oh, he's, like, covering up his ear. That's sad. See what I mean about these games, like, that I love is there's, like, the game didn't tell me this was there, and there's really nothing for me to collect, as I can see so far, but that is pretty interesting, what they did here. Like, somebody got attacked, the tree fell in the house. It's creepy. They need to put ghosts in this game. Like, they need to be... It needs to be like you're out in the wild or you're out riding your horse at night. And you... And, like, make it scary. Don't make it cheesy. Like, make it scary. Like, you hear something going... Uh, like, making a noise. Which I have heard that on this game a couple times. But I didn't see nothing. I've heard something making noises and moaning before. That would be really scary. I wonder if there's anything else up here. Ooh, I just heard a bear. Hi, girls. Shoot, that's a butt. Okay, hold on. We'll take it back to Crips. And I think you're... This, these can rot on your... Just say, like in the base game, I think that the corpses can rot. So I, I may want to take those back real fast. Oh yeah, he's just up there. Okay, good. Let's run that back real quick, and then let's find some more houses. This game can be a little confusing, too. There's so many elements to it. It can be kind of... Kind of confusing. crazy <laughs> they do that all the time on gt oh god what is that oh and players 
Yeah, they do. Yep, it's it's crazy. It's rude. It is. I don't. I mean, that's just downright meanness. That's uh. Apparently, they call them griefers. Fuckers are trying to shoot me. I think. Go. Oh my god, I'm going the other way. See what I mean? Oh no 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 no! Oh god, I thought I was gonna fall. Feels like they tried to shoot at me. Am I? Wait a minute. Am I in defensive mode? Yeah. Look! Ooh, uh uh, bitch. Look, watch him. Look, he's following me. See that little blue dot? Wants to take my shit. That's exactly what it is. And it's like, it ain't even a high level wolf. Look at him, dude. That's, that's what I mean. And anytime anybody attacks you, report them. Even if you're in offensive mode, fucking report them. Forgive my language, I'm sorry. I gotta raise the flag in my camp, too. It took it down when I did a mission. Yeah, did you see them? They were shooting at me. I could feel it in my controller. Anytime you're ever in a game, even if you're in offensive mode, maybe you forgot to turn defensive on or da-da-da, I report them. I'm not... I mean, that's ridiculous. So, I mean, that right there is they, they just literally tried to ruin my gameplay. You know, me just minding my own business, doing some hunting. They tried to take that from me. They just ran me out of that area. They come at me again, I will get their names and report them. And I report people multiple times too. That's exactly what I mean. Oh, horse, you're okay. Let me see what you said. Crazy. This horse is dramatic. <laughs> it is, honestly, it is. The Mustang is really, really dramatic. Like, if I run through um, weeds or something, it screams. Like, screams. Oh! And it bucks me all the time. Not every time, but it bucks me a lot. So I'm definitely going to save up and get another horse that it has uh, better bonding skills. I think they have them on here. Like, I don't know. I hope. I know in the base game they do. Listen to it. Dude, you're fine. I'm telling you. Now, let me. where's my flag? Oh, good. It's up. Let me make sure that it's protecting you from other players. See what I mean? I'll never understand why people, like, see somebody low level well, and they just want to ruin, they want to ruin it for them. Supplies are starting to run low, just so you know. I know, I know. Excellent. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I don't have, oh, yeah, see. Um... Yeah, let's go, let's go find some houses. I really, really, I know, honey, I know, honey, I know how good I am. Okay, now let me see something real quick, though. Uh, I don't know, I guess I could wait. I was gonna, I have better outfits than this. This is because I got hot. Um shirts I got that one I got that one I got that one let's make me a warm outfit because right there what I just this is my cold outfit or well like for hot weather I mean like the outfit that I just had on is for the hot weather so I don't have one yet for um for cold weather I mean just forgive me if I'm rambling <clears throat> I'm confused. 
And those pants are awful, honey. Now these I bought. I thought those were kind of cool. Um, but we'll do this. Fitted pants. Well, I didn't know I had fitted pants. Alright. And then we'll put on gauntlets. I made me some cool gauntlets. Go back, back. And take the corset off. Why did it take my gauntlets off? Why did it do that? Let me see. Yup. And back. Back. And... Da, 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 da. Oh yeah, I have a... Um, traditional vest. Where is that thing that I made? I made a vest out of uh, wolf hair, actually. Let me see if I can find it. I wonder where that is. Surely it ain't. No. Was it under vest? Oh, it's a poncho. That's right. There it is. Now that'd keep me warm. All right. Now we're going to our three save we're gonna make this outfit three i'll know that it's uh the outfit to keep me warm but now let's just go back to my original outfit no outfit i'm sure Danons. That's so cute. I want to get different colors. Yeah, let's just go on and put this back on. And, uh, take off the gauntlets. They'll make me hot. No gauntlets. I had those on earlier. I'll be done just in a second. I know this is kind of boring. Um, let's take the poncho off real quick. Don't need that. That'll make me too hot. And actually, let me show you guys. And this is what I'll change into. Is this outfit. This was my first outfit. That I bought for myself. I know it, it ain't gonna match it ain't gonna look too stylish but it's what I had the money for and I still for the money I thought it was pretty cool <laughs> see this is like the first outfit I bought for myself I like it man I think that's tight yep I can hear people shooting come here horse don't go running off at this time All right, now let's take a look at the map. Mm -mm -mm. Now, I think I've been in that house, I think. And what's this? Is that that farm? See, I don't think I've been to this. Let's, let's go to this. It's right down the road. All right, let me see what you said, babe. They reported you and said you were... Text will write me and I will write you. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, so they lied on you and then they just immediately marked you for it and believed them. Yeah, that isn't right. Not at all. Um, like when I reported people, it was just because they were attacking me when I was like level two. And or trying to do a mission and it don't let me well yeah it is it did let me choose and of course I didn't say profanity because I can't even hear them but 
But like, I don't report nobody unless they're attacking me and I'm trying to get away and they will not leave me alone. And I've gotten, a, a, people's tried to attack me even when I'm in defensive mode, which is crazy. What the fuck is this? Well, shit. Now this, I'm getting out of here actually because these, you'll help these people and you do not get much money at all. You don't. I end up spending that money. I end up spending that money in cleaning my guns afterwards. You know, so I'm not doing that. At least it ain't other, other players though coming to get me. At least it's just the game. Oh, this is this place. Well, let's go down here and just see. Might be something I can pick up. Then what we'll do, let me actually, um, let's go on and do it. Let's head down to Saint Denis down here. And we're going to ride our horse there. We ain't going to fast, fast travel. <laughs> I ride my horse everywhere. Um, let's go down here because there's a lot of houses around here and let's just see if we can get into one and there's rich houses too. There's like the mayor's house and all of that good stuff. So let's just see if we can, um, I'm going to head down this way. Yeah. Um, let's just see if we can get into a rich person's house. Even when you loot on this game, though, it doesn't give you as much as the base game did, like when you were Arthur or John. It's, it doesn't. Like, even when you loot somebody, you'll get, like, five or ten cents as opposed to, like, five dollars, you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I understand. Yep, I just started playing. Well, I mean, I've, I always game, but I started once I quit my job in December, and I was pretty upset about it too. Um, I didn't want to quit. I worked basically through all of COVID. I mean, I just quit in December, um, but it was COVID. I was afraid of my mom and dad getting it. I live with mom and dad. They're both elderly. Mom has really bad lung problems, so I didn't want to risk it. But it also, like, I got out of there because, um, let me get away from this blue dot. I ain't letting nobody hurt me. Um, I also got upset when I had to quit my job because I didn't, I didn't want to quit. It didn't end the way I wanted it to. Um, I'd been there five and a half years and people got into management that are absolute jerks. Absolutely. All it is is nurses that worked at our facility that got the board directors to hire them as director because the board directors are too lazy to step in as director and too lazy to find somebody officially qualified to be director of a handicap facility. So they were just letting any nurse, LPN, RN that wanted it become director and these women already had favorites and their favorites weren't favorites for good reasons. Just put it that way. They were favorites because they kiss butt, you know, suck up. They're all buddies. They go out and smoke all day, sit on Facebook all day up at work, leaving piles of human feces in the corner that I would clean up. You know, I was cleaning up everybody's mess. Um, never got employee of the month. Well, no, honey, no, I don't kiss. I don't kiss ass. I don't, I don't. If I am ever really, really nice to you, it's because you probably deserve it. You deserve it. I don't care if you're director, you know, I ain't gonna be overly nice to you if you're mean. But in any way, that's why I started really playing games in uh, December is, is I'd quit my job and I, I had a lot of anxiety about having to quit. You know, um, the director got mad at me is uh, I uh, put in, I put in a month notice. I didn't put in a two week notice, honey. I put in a month notice 
being that nice. That nice. Uh, and she was grateful for that and stuff that I gave her a month. Well, two weeks into my month notice, two employees, two employees tested positive for COVID up there. And so I wrote her and I was like, Tammy, I'm so sorry. I can't come back to work this weekend. You know, I just heard that so-and-so and so-and-so tested positive and you know, mom and dad both are old and mom's really sick. I can't risk it. And she jumped on me and tried to say that it wasn't true that those two people tested positive. And the person who had told me is a very believable source. She's a coworker. I knew she didn't lie about that. So I said, oh, okay. So they, they aren't positive. And the director sat there and, and the messages I seen her writing and then she would stop and then she'd write and then she'd stop. She was contemplating whether to lie to me or not is what she was doing. And she said, yeah, she did. They did test positive, but I mean, it's, why are you saying that isn't true though? You just said, you, she literally said, absolutely none of that is true. And I said, oh, okay. So they didn't test positive. And then she's like, well, yeah, they did test positive, but what you others, what you said isn't true. What it was is one of the employees got the test results for them being positive while they were in the van doing an outing with the clients, with our patients. And all I did is I said, Tammy, I know that this one particular employee, you know, has had some pretty close contact with the same clients that I'm going to be in close contact with. She was in the car with them and she found out she was go, she was tested positive. And she said that isn't true and i said well okay i said none nonetheless they t these people tested positive correct yes i said well i can't come back you know i'm sorry about that but i can't come back and she was like whatever you don't get none of your vacation days and your paycheck and we're taking they cut me down from 12 dollars an hour to seven dollars an hour so my last check was like a hundred dollars and it should have been about three or four hundred so, fuck you, Tammy. Forgive my language. Oh, butt kisser. <laughs> I'm sorry, forgive me. Let me grab a cigarette. I'm getting pissed. <clears throat> but yeah, so you see the kind of uh, people I was dealing with up there. Ha! Well, Lord! A gypsy. I'll be back, Gypsy. I will, baby. Little Gypsy wants to play. It's my little Chihuahua. I have to do a water change tonight, too. All right, let me see what you said, babe. Yeah, they are. Yeah? Yeah, they are. You just don't understand, honey. God, it would take me forever to explain to you. Okay, for example, the last couple months I was there... We had one client, one patient, um, who's severely mentally handicapped. She cannot talk at all, so she can't defend herself. She can't speak up for herself. Um, they were trying to trim her nails and ripped her whole nail out of her finger. The nurse. And, um, which, I mean, accidents happen, you know. Well, they didn't tell her mother that. Her mother. Her mother called up there one night. I answered the phone. And she was crying and stuff because she hadn't been able to visit her daughter because of COVID. And I was like, oh, honey, I'm so sorry. And she said, and then she said, and then her having that cut on her finger or said, and then her finger being hurt. That's what she said. Then her finger being hurt. And I said, I know. I said, you know, that hurt her fingernail coming all the way out like that. And her mom went, what? She said, they told me she just had a little cut. <gasps> you see what I mean? That's not the first time that I've seen that happen up there from the nursing department. Not the first time, probably the fifth or sixth time, that they were keeping important medical information or incidents that was happening up there from the guardians or parents. They all cover for each other up there. And that's why they don't like me. I told on one of them for abusing one of the clients. She was spraying her in the face with a squirt gun to get her to be quiet. And I told on her, I sure did. And they all turned against me. This was like a month before I quit, before I knew I had to get out of there, get out of there. Not just because of COVID though, because of the dynamics that was going on up there. But I told on her, I went right to the board 
and told the board that this one particular employee was use bringing in a squirt gun and squirting a client in the face to get her to be quiet. I got her suspended for two weeks. And they all turned against me. That's what I'm saying, honey. There's, none of us are perfect. I have my things. Oh my God, I have my things. But that is one thing that I'm not, is I'm not an abuser of people that can't fight back. I'm not. Um, I will not cover for a friend if they're a dick. I won't do it, especially if they're hurting somebody innocent and defenseless. They all cover for each other up there. They all do. Yeah, they did. Yep. Yeah, she did. She was going to lie to me. She was, I'll tell you what she was doing is she was thinking, should I lie to Amy to get her to stay the rest, to, the rest of the two weeks she's supposed to be here? But then she knew that it, that I could that it was true. She knew it was true that two people tested positive. So she couldn't lie. She knew that I could get her fired for that, and I would have. I don't like her. She's an awful human being, for heaven's sakes. I never went. And that's one thing, too. I Only two times did I report somebody the five and a half years I was there. Only two times. And that last time I did, the employee that was abusing, was school, well, was a... Uh, squirting the squirt gun in that one client's face is the director's best friend is tammy's best friend so yeah i had to go to the board i couldn't go to the well we did we did tell tammy that she had been squirting her and she said well i'll talk to her you know i'll talk to her and then she was supposed to get written up for it she didn't get rid of, written up for it she got nominated by the county for an award for being like the best, you know, CNA, STNA of the county or whatever. Um, no. That day was the day that I contacted the board and told them what she was doing. And yeah, they hate me for it. They, they all of those women up there absolutely freaking hate me. Yeah, she should have got fired. I know. I know. I was surprised. I was, and, and get this, the board member that I called is that client's sister. She presides over that facility where her sister is a patient, is a client. And she does scream a lot. She does have behaviors. And it can get on your nerves. But you can't abuse them. You can't squirt them in the face. But I called and told her, you know, and, she, and I told her her name was Sandy, was the board member. I said, Sandy, I've never called you at home and reported anything. And she said, no, you haven't. I said, I'm just telling you, this particular employee is terrible. I said, she is terrible. And she would come in in the mornings. I worked third shift. And she would come in on first. And some of our clients would already be up listening to music or watching TV or laughing. And she would come down the hall and go, it's too early for this shit. Turn that music down. It wasn't even loud. It was a little handheld radio phone iPad thingy. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it just... Oh, gosh, honey, I could go on and on about the stuff I've seen going on up there. Just the last several months I was there. Yes, yeah, she should have. Yeah, she absolutely should have been fired. The board member that I told was her sister was the client's sister. So I thought she would fire her. That was downright abuse. But from what I understand, what ultimately happened was is when sandy got up there and was questioning everybody about it they all went into denial about it even though they all were taught a few of them not all i won't say all a few of them that weren't this girl's friend was talking about it that it was abusive it was disrespectful it isn't right but of course i'm the only one that reported it because everybody's chicken you know hold on let me see some. oh yeah see there's a rich house Let me put my horse over here. Um, but yeah, she should have been fired. But apparently when Sandy went and was questioning everybody about it to get the full story, um, I, from what I understand is everybody denied it. Even the ones who seen it said it was abuse that aren't friends with this particular person. All even they just got scared. They got cold feet is what it was. They got scared because here came a board member asking them, you know, Yeah, uh-huh. I 
Oh yeah, that's sad, man. That is so sad. Lord, that's pitiful. I don't know, man. It's. I wish that I could say I was a mother. I hope someday I get a chance. I'm 37. There's still time, you know, but I hope I get a chance. But, you know, I'm not even a mother. I'm kind of, you know, still a kid in many ways. But I'll tell you, I would never abuse a child. I would never facilitate anybody abusing a child or a handicapped person or man you know what we're in this life to try to be the best versions of ourselves that we can be we're not going to be perfect but i'll tell you what it isn't hard to not be a jerk it's not hard to not be an evil little shit in this world yet look at all the evil little shits in this world God, that's terrible. That is just terrible. I know all these, uh, did you know in some countries, I mean, which I'm sure it happens over here too in the U.S., but some countries, they, um, there's people who have babies and sell them to, um, organ harvesting people. Like they have kids and grow them out to five and 10 years old just to harvest, harvest their little organs. Well, yeah, of course. Yeah, they probably were told not to tell. Yep. You know it, honey. Let's see. Is there anything? It would be nice if you could take that and go sell it, that chess game. I wonder if we can get in these people's house. Now, in the base game, you can't. Gosh, I wish it would let me go. Oh, my God. She's going in circles. She's crazy. I wish I could get into these rich people's house, dude. <laughs> Man, imagine living in a house like that. <laughs> I'll never know. Well, maybe I'll know, but I don't know now what it's like to live in a house like that. <laughs> Let me in. Let me in. Yeah, I definitely think they were told not to tell. If you're referring to my to my work, I, I know they did. I know Tammy went and told him, don't that's just, I think that they knew it was me. Well, they did know it was me. I think that, and they wanted me out of there. They really did. Because I was starting to say stuff to him. I was starting to take pictures too. Man, I wish I could show it on here. If I could ever do it I'll make a video and show you all the pictures I took over the last year of our thermometer being broken they had us coming in and taking our temperature as soon as we, we would come in it was broken it said everybody was 90 degrees it was broken um then I took pictures of piles of human feces diapers pull-ups in the corner left by the very employees who got employee of the month every other month why because they're friends with the director they're friends with the nurses they kiss butt that's why so I was out now the first three years I was there we had this man as a director his name was Kent and he was so he was so good to me he was he was very professional um he was I mean in my opinion he was good to about everybody except for the ones that there was a couple employees that were that were smart alecks and they would get in his face and stuff and he just would yell at him right back um and then there was one employee who called off like every week and we were so short staffed he, he couldn't fire him you know and that employee knew it so he got hateful with them quite a few times and i don't blame him oh that guy let's go see how he's doing I'm giving 25 cents. Hey, buddy. Oh, man. Come on, sweetie. Get up. It's a game, and I'm talking to it. Give me a pork chop and a gun. And I want a pork chop. Why 
Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, yeah, I think Tammy, the director, her friend, went around and told him not to say anything. Um, yeah, there's, uh, or it, go Google it sometime. Uh, uh, organ harvesting. That guy's talking in my ear. It's confusing me. Oh, God. Hold on, let me get away so it... Oh, buddy, don't be so sad. Honey. Oh, God, that's that's making me so sad. Oh, my God, I'm going to have to get away. That's going to break my heart. Um, but, yeah, Google organ harvesting children. Put the word child in their children. And just keep looking. and say, Yeah, that happens. They actually are children that are either sold by their families or kidnapped. Kidnapped. Bred in certain facilities and stuff. Google it, man. This is a big world, and there's a lot of evil in it, man. Just, you know, so rich people's kid can get a heart, you know, or a liver or something. So, I mean, man, we've got to change this world. We have to. We've got to change it. This isn't right. Oh, it's evil. It's evil. And then what my work was doing wasn't right. That was terrible. And they all gossip constantly. Uh... They were saying, like, when I was leaving and stuff right before I left, they were saying I was, quote-unquote, toxic. That's a popular word right now that everybody's saying, that everybody's toxic and da-da-da-da-da. If anybody's against you or something, they're toxic, whatever. Even if you're Hitler himself and you go... I, I guess Hitler would have called the opposing armies toxic, wouldn't he? Pretty sure he would. Um, but they were saying I was toxic. They said I was drama. Man, I'm telling you, honey... I was known until those women got in there and started forming their little clique and doing their horrible stuff. I was known as the most friendly person. Like everybody would go and request that they were put on a similar schedule as me so they could work with me. That's what Kent told me. The first three years I was there, he would laugh and say, I don't know what to do with the schedule because everybody wants to work with you. Yeah, it doesn't sound like I'm too toxic, does it? I'm not, I'm not. Yes, I can get angry. No, I'm not perfect. None of us are. But in general, I'm a pretty pleasant person. I'm a good person. But... Oh, God. But these people were bringing out in me what they called toxicity. Because I was starting to say stuff to them. I was starting to take pictures of the trash they were leaving. Like, if I could put this up on the screen right now where you could see, you would be like, oh, my God you would be like oh my god it's a pile three feet high and i'm not exaggerating three feet high of human feces in the form of diapers and stuff and you can see the poop there was poop wiped on the wall um this was their bathrooms over there these weren't bathrooms that typically we had anything to do with because it was first shift bathrooms and uh back by the workshop so only first shift and the clients ever used these bathrooms we didn't on second and third shift, our clients did, and we didn't. Um, there was feces on the wall, wiped, uh, pull-ups with big giant turds in them, stinking flies. So I stopped cleaning it up and started taking pictures and would leave it for days. And then I started sending it to the director. They would, that one employee that was abusing clients, doing the squirt gun thing, would come in in the, in the morning, jump on the clients for listening to music, jump on them for laughing, jump on me for laughing with the clients, jump on me that one trash can on the other side of the building didn't have a trash bag in it. This is the same person that's abusing clients and that is leaving piles of human feces everywhere. And food, too. Whenever they would have lunch, there would be, I'm talking handfuls of hamburger on the floor. I'm not talking little spicks and specks of food here and there. Oh, no, no, no food everywhere again if i could show you the pictures right now you would die it looked like a food fight happened and they're supposed to clean that up there's the the staff is supposed to clean that up so i stopped cleaning it up i started taking pictures and then when that one employee would go to her little friend her director friend and complain about me over the tiniest little thing i'd say oh okay yeah i'll try to make sure that every trash can even if we don't use them and i don't even go in that room has a trash bag but by the way you might want to talk to her about this and i would send her 
20 pictures plus a video of piles of human feces that her favorite employees left. She didn't like me. None of them did. They didn't like me. So, ugh, forgive me. I know I'm like getting into this, but it's, it just happened a few months ago. You know, it's still kind of fresh in my system. Oh, just terrible people, honey. And they think I am. They're all talking about me and stuff, of course. They've all convinced themselves that they're little angels and that I'm the devil. I'm actually pretty honest you about stuff. Yep, yeah, that's why they... Yeah, that's why. That's why they... That she won't get rid of them. Exactly, honey. You just said it, Bree. People call good people toxic because they, they're not, yeah, because we're not taking the mess that they're throwing out. That's why they didn't like me. Now, I have another. Hold on. I don't know why it did that. Hold on. Let me plug it in. It's probably getting ready to die. Um. There we go. Yeah, it's probably just getting ready to die or something. Or better. There we go. But anyway, this one particular employee, she survived cancer. I mean, her health just isn't good as it is. And um, she would, she's so laid back. She would just, she would go on. She would go on and, um, is it still on? It is, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Okay, good. Anyway, she would go on and clean up all this mess every night. You know what I'm saying? She would go on and clean up everything for everybody. And, um, see you're taking care of it. So you know, and, and I mean, there were some nights, this woman in the middle, we live in Ohio, you know, we get really bad winters sometimes. I'm talking ice everywhere. And they would make us, us have to take all these bags of trash way out on the, uh, way out on the other side of the parking lot. It was a good little walk, especially if it's the middle of January and there's ice everywhere. And, you know, we would have to carry out six bags of trash every night sometimes. And it was stuff that they were supposed to do. You know, we would have a bag or two of our own, but there's three bags left from them. But my one, one coworker, the one I'm referring to, is so easy going and laid back. She just don't want to fight with nobody. She also is a people pleaser, and she is a little bit of a suck up herself. So she would, I mean, she has a good heart, don't get me wrong. She does her job great. You know, she does. But, um, you know, she would just let this one employee and all well all of them just walk all over her she would just keep cleaning up their messes and um yeah they could have got shut down yeah they're lucky they're lucky i didn't show it to the health department they're really lucky um but this one that one employee man she just wouldn't say anything and then after i did even she kind of turned against me even the employee that was absolutely being taken advantage of, just like I was, um, and she would talk about it too. She would say, Amy, Let my name's Amy, by the way. Help. She'd say, Amy, come look at this. Look what they left today. Look at this. Oh my God, is that poop? That, you know, so she knew that it was messed up. She knew. Um, but even when I ended up confronting them about it and, um, you know, told on the one employee for being abusive and, you know, even that one employee that knew it was all messed up, even she kind of turned against me in the end, and it sucks. It does. It really does. It shows, it just shows the level of integrity people in people. You know, I what guess I have a really people? high level of integrity inside myself, like my work ethic, and then what I expect of others, how I expect others to treat me. You know what I'm saying? So, but whatever it is, what it is. I'm out of there. I, I mean, God, I'm so glad I'm out of there. You guys have no idea. I was a really good employee. I was really nice um, to everybody. It wasn't fake. I've, I've seen, uh, because they're all on Facebook constantly. Now I deleted, basically deleted my Facebook. Um, I do get on TikTok and then I play my video games and that's it. And I love YouTube. I love YouTube. But as far as, like, social media, Facebook, I just deleted it. But they're all on Facebook I constantly kissing each other's butts. Fireball. They'll also talk about each other uh, or about me. And I've seen stuff that they've said. I deleted them. 
But before I did, I seen stuff they were saying at that time when stuff was going on. They called me toxic. They called me fake because I was always real nice to everybody. I just, I don't know. I guess what it is is I wake up every day and just want to be in a good mood. I really do. I mean, in my heart, I wake up every day and I just want to get along with everybody. I just want to laugh. Like, I'm a big cut up. I say, I mean, I'm just a goofball. I am. And I was nice to everybody, but... But because I ended up standing up to them, them kind of bullying me, taking advantage of me, bullying clients, and then I stood up to them, all of a sudden I'm quote unquote, quote unquote, fake, toxic, all those things. And it's just simply not true. It's not. I mean, call me crazy, but I think piles of uh, people who leave piles of human excrement in corners is the toxic ones. I mean, call me crazy. <laughs> you know, I think that that's, that's pretty toxic. <laughs> They also got into a screaming match one day, too, out in the hallway over tile being put into the employee bathroom. Nope. And it was, honey, I'm telling you, it was destroying my self-esteem, my self-worth. Um, I was also hurting myself. My foot, I mean, I'm getting a little bit older, you know. My body isn't like when I was 20. I'm 37. I mean, it's... No, I'm not, it's not like I'm 50, but still, you know, I'm getting a little bit older. I'm also chubby. Um, my foot was killing me. My back was hurting me. And I still would go the whole nine yards plus another one for that place for the clients, for the clients. And I never got employee of the month, not since Kent left, since he, he left and wasn't director anymore. I never got so much as a thank you or a nothing. Because I was on thirds and I wasn't part of that first shift click. I'm telling you, all they do is, is they, because I, I started watching them. When I would leave at 6.30 in the morning and they would come in, and I live right down the road, I would come home and, and get on Facebook just to watch and see. They were already, all of them, the nurses, all of them, even the director were already on Facebook. And honey, they stayed on there. They stayed on there and it wasn't just that little green thing that says active now online now no 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 so it wasn't like it could have been a glitch or something oh no they were posting back and forth to each other talking online constantly while they're sitting there with clients who need need programs that need done that need washed they, there's trash that needs taken out food that needs cooked you know, and some of these clients have programs too, you know, to help them with their skill building um, and also just to entertain their mind. That's one reason why some of the clients have behaviors because they're bored. They're bored. They're being ignored. They're being sat in the corner in a dirty diaper and being left alone. Why these people go outside and smoke and gossip and play on Facebook. And I more or less was telling these people that at the very end, the last couple of weeks I was there, I was more or less telling them that they're horrible human beings. And so that's why I'm the quote unquote toxic one. Honey, I was the Zithromax to your bronchitis. Get over it. <clears throat> Forgive me. I know I'm going off on this, but it's just so, I had to hold that in. That was going on for a while. Let's go see what kind of hairstyles they have. Yeah, that whole mess was going on for a while, man. About a year or two. Change appearance. Let's just see. Now, I want to save up, and I do want to get another horse soon, or at least buy the wagon to do better trading. Now, that looks like me. That right there looks like me. My eyes may be a little bit closer together, but in general, that looks like me. And do you see the, the beauty marks, like the one by her nose and the one right below her lip? I have those exact little beauty marks. They're not quite that big, but they're there. And they're in the exact same places. folks got swindled <laughs> by a street barber. Like, I it's crazy. You get what you pay and that's like what my hair looks like too. Uh, let's see. Um, that's pretty. Ooh, now that honestly looks more like my hair. <laughs> Ooh, fancy sauce. Wow, that, dude, her eyes look so much like mine right there. Oh, pigtails. Oh, that's cute. It's only 11. Let's do it. What do you think? Some folks say it's just cutting hair, but maybe they never had a bad cut. <laughs> nope. 
Now, I used to be blonde. I used to dye my hair blonde in my early 20s, my teens. There you we go. Got it. You got it, baby. It is cool. Oh, it left my little hair band in there. That's cool. I'll put it on the side. Hi, honey. How is you, Amy Brown? Now, let's see. Now, my name on here is Akasha Lamore. It isn't my real name, but it does look like me. I'm just a little bit fatter. Actually, a lot fatter. Nobody has to know. Nobody has to know that. <laughs> But yeah, definitely, if you go to play this game, I do I do suggest investing in a horse pretty early on, like a better horse. The Mustang, this was only 20 gold. You can earn that back. Fair. I mean, you can get that back, you know, doing treasure hunts and stuff. Um, because if you're just on the Kentucky Sadler, Sattler or the Tennessee Walker or the Morgan, you're not going to be able to do much. I mean, not you're not going to be able to go for far. You might not be able to outrun people. go back here maybe there's something let me put my horse back here just in case somebody comes along man I want to get in these people's house wonder if I can get back in the mail or males in the mayor's house his house is down here I think I did a mission where I had to go in there and steal something from him and I just wonder if it'll let me go back in there, because I bet there's stuff I missed. But yeah, if you ever know you're in a very toxic situation, and even if it's a job, if it's really starting to affect your mental and physical health, like, just get out. Just get, get out. I miss it, man. I miss some of those clients. I was really close to them. Um... I had real friendships with the clients. Put it this way, they never had behaviors on me. Very, very rarely. But they have behaviors on first shift constantly. I wonder why. Hmm. Wonder why. Maybe because you're jerks. Now, let's see. <gasps> oh, yeah. Hey. I'm going to play for another 20 or 30 minutes, so I'm going to go make me a salad. I am starving. Now, this is the mayor's house, the mayor of Saint Denis. Let's just see. Ooh, that's pretty. I like pink. I'm so girly, girly. Now, when I was a kid, I wasn't. I was kind of tomboyish. But ever since, like, my 20s, I'm really into purples and pinks. It's weird. the mayor. Look at his big nose. Come on now. I know there's got to be something I can get into. Let's uh, go on and stand up. Doesn't look like nobody's in here. Yes. Drawer. Oh, cool. It's letting me open all these drawers, like even the ones on the side. Come on now. Give me something good. Oh, those are pretty. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. Rob from the rich, honey. Give to the poor. You know how it is. Ooh, fine brandy. That's one of me and my fiance's songs, is that song from the 70s called Brandy. Brandy, you're a fine girl. What a good wife you would be. <laughs> he picked out that song for me. He's so sweet.
Hmm. But that's a back door, isn't it? No? Hmm. Ooh. Oh, it ain't letting me open it. That ain't no fun. This is the back room. Gosh, look how in-depth this game is. Like, imagine how long it took the creators to create every, you know, every little piece of furniture. It's amazing. Yeah, there ain't nothing in there. Let's go upstairs. What if we, like, walk in on the mare and he's, like, naked or something? I'll just have to shoot him. Now, this might be where some good stuff is. Ah, come on! What's that? That looks like an old jewelry box. She looks so good with her pigtails. That was a good purchase. Just like Marla, what a good purchase. What's that? It ain't letting me grab it. Wait a minute. Wait. I just seen something that said take. Yep. Ooh, it's storming outside. I love it. I love it, love. Love it. Now... That is one cool thing, is whenever you can get into somebody's house, they're, like, never home. So you can take your time. Man, look at this. Imagine this being your, like, front yard back in the 1800s. Oh. Oh. But no, I had to be born in 1983. Oh, good, I raised my uh, stamina. I broke the window. <laughs> That's a cool room. That's where I would uh, smoke my weed. Sorry, I'm just calling it like it is. Oh, that doesn't. That's, that door is like locked. It's inaccessible. Um. Yeah, there ain't nothing that we can steal from here, man. That sucks. Well, at least we got to bust some windows, I guess. Oh well, we'll go find some more houses. Let's go hose. See those don't those green cabinets over there don't open. All right, let's get out of here. Bam! Wonder if she's getting hot. She might be because of that shirt. Ooh! Can I have some apples for my horse? Come on! Oh, look at this backyard. Could you even imagine? Oh. I would put my fish in there. There is where Marla's house would be. What is that? That just, I guess it's the filter. Look at that. Look how gorgeous that is. That is where I would put my goldfish, man. Yeah, 
Just if you're ever feeling like you're, that's actually, it's like my friend told me, man, this, this is one friend I've had since I was eight years old. She stood by me through the, like the absolute darkest times of my life. And she told me, she said, Amy, she said, you know that they were doing wrong. You know that your work ethic was in the right place. Your heart was in the right place. And you know that most people leave their jobs because they feel unappreciated. That's the number one reason why people leave jobs is they feel underappreciated. And she is so right. She's so right. That's why I left. I mean, really, I was trying to stick it out through COVID. I didn't want to quit. I wanted to keep money coming in. You know, who the heck doesn't want to work? I mean, really, at the end of the day, who doesn't want to have money? You know, who doesn't? Um... And I was there five and a half years. I knew that place inside and out. But it was COVID. And then it was, but to be honest with you, it was a little bit more the whole dynamics of the way things had changed up there. I'm going to have to put another outfit on. I think she's hot. That's why her. Let's see. Come on now. Oh, that's the really hot one. Why are you being like that? Yeah, see? But I thought outfit... Oh, outfit one's this. Outfit two is... Is that? Huh! I thought I made me a one for hot weather. I guess I didn't. Alright, well, let's get out of here then. Maybe we should go on and go buy, like, another shirt. Let's go do that real quick to put on her. Could you put something here? I will, Stop buddy. Me. Let me put my horse up. Uh, uh, coin, some food, just, just talk to me. Yeah, let me go on and go get some better clothes. Now, speaking of my job, let me tell you this story. Uh, in 2019, it was uh, it was August 2019. I did I did an outing with some of our clients and took them on vacation, which was really awesome. We were gone for four days. I got paid um, my normal rate during the day hours, and then at night I got paid like bottom minimum wage, which is still great. I was just sleeping and I was getting paid. Welcome. But anyway. Their vacation was to Louisville, Kentucky. Take a look at the latest styles we just the vacation was style. to Louisville, Kentucky. And um, we had went and had uh, breakfast at this one place in downtown Louisville. And I was with another co-worker. I had a co-worker with me. It was a guy. And he was the brother-in-law to the then director, which was another nurse. And it was, uh, anyway... So he was, and more or less, he got that vacation because he was one of the favorites because he was related to the director. And I had to beg for four years to even get put on that one. But anyway, <clears throat> we were leaving questions. dinner, or you breakfast rather, know. and this homeless guy, when we came out, came up. I, I seen him go up to my coworker first because he went out first, and then I came out after him with the other client. And I seen the homeless guy go up to my coworker and ask him, ask him something. And then he, and then my coworker walked away. Well, then when I went out there, that homeless guy came up to me and said, it said, do you have any money, even just a dollar, please? I'm so sorry to ask. And I said, I'm sorry, I don't. And he and said, well, do you have any food left over? Could I please have it? And, and I had some nachos left over. I ate nachos for breakfast, honey, because I live on the edge, live on the edge. And uh, I have steak and on breakfast, too, a lot of times. Pizza. <laughs> but anyway, so um, I gave him my, I said, sure. And I gave him what was left of my food. And he was like, thank you. Thank you so much. Well, then I walked back to our van with my coworker and the clients. And, uh, and my coworker side. said, did he, uh, God, did he ask you for money? And I said, oh, yeah, he did. And he said, God, I hate people like that. Are you kidding me? 
How can you hate somebody that's ho- like? Why do you? How could you hate somebody that's homeless? Like what? Uh. Well, I hate people that are mean and nasty. Hey, Bobby. What's up, buddy? We're gonna get a, a cooler top for our character, and then we're gonna go out and try to rob some houses. Because I know there's a lot of houses out here waiting to be picked. No, dash it all, not vest. You never listen to me. Shirts, I said. But anyway, my coworker was so mean, man. He was like, I hate people like that. God, that's annoying. And I was like, well, I gave him my food. I said, that's sad. But that just goes to show, like, how mean some people are, man. They really are. Yeah, let's go on and equip that. And actually, I what, probably won't have to buy oh, anything. Don't doubt yourself. That looks excellent on you. I do. Yeah, this game's really cool. And I like it better that it's online because you can customize your character even further. Obviously, you can make female characters. Like, this girl literally looks like me in the face, just like me in the face. Like, just like me, so it's awesome. But, of course, you can make imaginary characters, too. It don't have to look like you. That's all right. Whatever you feel. Let's go put on our uh, fitted oh, pants. Oh, my man, if I had a dollar for every time somebody said to me, haven't I met you I kind of want to save my money for another horse because mine, I like it, but it's just, uh, it bucks me, man. Where's those fitted pants? I know I've seen them somewhere. There they are. Equipped. There are a few colors you can go with for this one. You make the calls here. Yeah, I like this game a lot. I would definitely recommend going online. But what I would tell you, Bobby, is when you do, um, if you do do Red Dead 2 online, like what this is, this is Red Dead 2 online. Um, the first thing you need to do as soon as you create your character and you go into game is if you're on PS4. You push left on the D-pad, okay? People Let me go out of this so you can see. The same. And then uh, you go down to options, to online options. No at all. If you Let me show you. Mind, I push left on the D-pad, go down to online options, and then you're going to go down to playing style, and you're going to switch yourself to defensive, okay? Because you're a new character, you're, you ain't going to have the best gun, you're not going to have many defensive, dis defenses all those things and other players will literally attack you as soon as they see you they don't care if you're level one two they'll they'll attack you and take everything you have so if you want to do this nice game definitely go to playing style defensive at there. least like the first like till you're at least level like 20 i would say honestly all right yeah this is cute this should keep her from getting too hot Like, I switched. Well, what I'm saying is, is I went to, um, I went to defensive, um, because I was still low level and I kept getting attacked. I had to. And then, uh, but then once I build, like, I think I'm, like, level 24 now or something. Once I get myself up a little bit more, I'll go full offensive, meaning that the other players can get me. Um. Acquire some food? Just, just talk to me? Oh, well, welcome back, Bree. Welcome back, honey. We're going to go try to find more houses to get into. Lord, that guy's carrying on. Honey, I gave you what you needed. Uh, now we're heading back down this way. We need to maybe... I wonder if we can break into this house. This isn't the, is this the mayor's house? It is, isn't it? Who knows? Let's go on the edge of town. There's some, like, kind of poorer houses. I know that sounds bad, but... It's just a game. Does 
Now, once I get higher level, I'll go on offensive. Offensive where I can be. Where other players will have a shot at getting me, you know. But I had to build myself up, man, because I kept getting attacked. And, and like, I would respawn and they would just attack me again. <laughs> it was terrible. They were, like, level 200 and I was level 2. But I think it's so worth it. Like, I think this game is so worth it, though. Like, the monthly subscription and stuff. Honey, I ain't a mother. I'm not a mother. I'm the age to be a mother, but I'm not. But I am very attractive, I will say that. I am blessed with the physical beauties of this world, but I am fat. Like, I'm really, really pretty in the face, but I am chubby. My weight goes up and down. Now, which way? I was going north, wasn't I? Let's see. Come on, give me a road to head north on. Gosh, this city is dead. Yes, honey, I'm a big, beautiful woman. Let's see. Now, like in 2013, 2014, 2015, I got down real skinny. No, let's go down this way. Let's see. I wonder if I can get over that over there. Oh, yeah. Dude, that bridge is so pretty. Look at that. You can't even see it. That's like the kind of bridges they had in medieval England. Yes. Yeah, this character looks pretty much just like me in the face. I have a lot of Native American in me. Like, out of all the kids, you could see it in me. Mom and Dad had four kids, and I was the one that came out looking Native. Which I'm so happy with. Native Americans were good people, man. Most of them. They need to be given back their land. Some of it, please. Their health is really bad, too. Like, the average... Native American lifespan on a reservation is like 50. 50. That's nothing. All right, let's put our horse over here. Let's hide him so no other player sees him. And then we're going to go in people's houses. Yeah, that, uh, Keith, honey, you're crazy. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, do you? I thought about, um, I thought about making like a, like a, a male Native American character. I thought that would be really nice. I wish you could have a couple different accounts. Maybe you can. I thought that would be really nice. Yeah, their lifespan is like 50. I'm serious. Like, I'm not even exaggerating. Go look it up. You want to know Why? The government dumps toxic waste and nuclear type waste on their lands and it goes down into their water supply. That's why. Dude, I'm telling you guys, go Google this stuff and look it up, man. PBS has done specials on it and stuff. Native Americans absolutely are due a big apology. And when I say big, I don't mean just, oh, we're sorry about it. No, I mean lands given back, the toxic crap's being taken out. They need to be given food assistance. They need to be given, there's, their, their whole communities need to be redone and everything. See, I got all into that and forgot I was going to go in some, oh man, that guy's home. I want to go in your house. Oh, well, let's try to find a mission to do. Shoot.
let's try to find something really cool to do. You guys want to do a uh, bounty? You want to go back down to San Denis and do it? Or should we go up to... Let's go up to Van Horn. That dead place. And we'll go do a bounty. I always pick the worst times to do missions. It's always night time. Oh, I do. Yeah. I've already sold a lot to Madame Nazar. A lot. Um, but I'm trying... Now I'm trying to... Uh, get the collection like of the bottles, the alcohol bottles, the tarot cards, instead of just selling them to, to her individually, I'm trying to sell them as a set so I get more money. But sometimes I need the money so bad that I just go on and go sell them. But she's definitely awesome, man. And you don't have to sell them as a set. You don't have to. You know, you can go sell them individually and get money if you need it. But I'm trying to, at least with the alcohol bottles, wait until I get the whole set and go turn them in. Man, it's creepy as hell. Let's get our gun ready. I know there's gonna be wolves. Now, the Mustang's a great horse. This is the horse that I'm on as a Mustang, but it will buck you sometimes, even after you're fully bonded. And it shrills and complains constantly. Like, if I run through a bush, it's like, oh! it like screams and freaks out. Van Horn. Man, you talk about depressive. Look at this place. Now, let's see. <laughs> I'm waving at everybody. Ah, I wasn't talking to you. Now, let's see. Let's see. I might have some mill, actually. Now, here in a little bit, guys, we'll do this bounty. And then I'm going to let you guys go and go eat something. And then I'll, I'll get back online here in a couple hours. Good Lord, what's wrong with him? Uh, yeah, the bears. Yeah, it can get scary. But to be honest with you, though, I'm more scared of the other players. <laughs> like, I'll see a little blue dot of another player showing up, and I'm heading the other way, even when I'm in defensive. <laughs> yeah, the animals can be scary. Yeah, the, the big grizzly bears that come at you are really scary. All right, let's see. Like, they can, and the cougars, too, man, they can kill you. And if you're on a horse that bucks you, they'll buck you off, and then there you are. You're just, you know, you're on the ground to be eaten. Oh, that would be nice, honey. Thank you for not shooting me. I don't know. I think that, I think there's just some people that play this game to do that. I think that they're on here to, to hurt other people and make their time hard. And there's some people that may not realize that they can go into defensive mode. You know, like at first I didn't. Like the first five levels of my game, I didn't even know that. And I kept getting attacked <laughs> by people that were like level 242. I kept getting attacked. Didn't I accept that bounty? Why isn't it showing up yet?
Man, it did this to me one time. I accepted a bounty and then it never showed up. And I had to like restart my game. Hold on. Hey, you forget to pick something up? No. See, it ain't let me. Okay, let me ride out here and see if it'll correct itself. Let's just see. If not, I'll have to restart the game. See how I picked up that bounty and it's not showing up? Like what it normally would do, it would show me like on the map where it is, where I'm going. It would show a yellow line leading me there, but it's not doing that. It did this to me the other day. And look, I can't even pick up no other kind of missions or nothing. So I'm going to have to exit out of the game and refresh it, probably. You have to go to online and free room and try again. Okay. Yeah, I, pro I just don't. Yeah, I don't like player versus player. At least, like, I want to um, level myself up. You know what I'm saying? I just want to get, because I was such a low level, I could, I, like, my horse was terrible, my gun wasn't so good, my character wasn't even that strong yet, and I was getting attacked. But once I get myself up there, I want to do, you know, I want to do that, I want to play with other players. But to be honest, yeah, I mainly chose online because I could customize my character so far on online Red Dead 2. Like, I can make a female character and make me. So that's really the number one reason why I, I got on Red Dead Online is just purely for that, <laughs> is the customizing my character. I got tired of Arthur, Ar Arthur and John. I got tired of them. Oh, I'm stretching. Oh. Man, I want some beef jerky. Me too. I like, uh, yeah, I like games that are based in different times, like uh, Horizon Zero Dawn is really neat. Because at first you almost think it's in the past, and then you start realizing that it's, you know, spoiler alert, but it's in the future. I like unique games, and I love Zelda. Zelda Twilight Princess is one of my most favorite games of all time. I wish, I wish Zelda would sell their rights to like Xbox or PS4 because I don't think Nintendo does it as much justice as it's worth. Like I think that Zelda, like imagine if they started making Link and his horse and the whole world around him looking like this, like Red Dead does, like a little bit more real and stuff and all these different elements to it. Um, that would be amazing. That would be absolutely amazing. Um, but Nintendo, I just don't think does um, does Zelda enough justice for what the franchise what the franchise could do with itself is what I mean. But I love Twilight Princess. I play it like once every two years. Let's see. Call me a horse, horse. Why'd it kill my dead eye? It, like, took all my dead eye away. Yeah, me too. I had a Nintendo GameCube. It's all, Now, Zelda's only on Nintendo. Like, they don't... They're not in contract with PlayStation or Xbox or uh, even for PC. It, like, any time Zelda wants to come out with a new game, it has to be released on a Nintendo console. And that's what I'm saying is I think that that Zelda would do great on, like, PS4. I really do. Now, wouldn't that be cool if you could make your own, uh, your own character on Zelda, you know, and, like, Link is in the community with you or something? I don't know. There's all kinds of different things you could do. All right, let's not do that bounty down there because maybe something's wrong with it. Maybe there's a glitch. So let's go to... Everybody waving their hands. Yeah, we'll just, we'll go up to Ansberg. Is 
Is there still hillbillies up there by Ansburg? Like those inbred hillbilly family? But yeah, I played uh, Zelda on a GameCube. That's what I played on. And then now I got a Wii that whenever I want to play it, I can play it on there with the... Uh, I have the original, like, GameCube version of Twilight Princess. I never played the Wii version, but I play the GameCube version on my Wii with a memory card and with uh, a GameCube controller. I love it. Love. Blah. I love it. I don't know. It's just my thing. All right, let's see. Let's go up there. Come on, muddy. Muddy buddy. Man, I'll tell you, I get so many weird looks. Like, see, I live in a very small kind of conservative town. And every woman around here is just alike like everybody everybody's the soccer mom type everybody you know what i'm saying it's just kind of cookie cutter that's what cookie cutter means it's kind of like everybody's the same and let me tell you i get the weirdest looks and the i don't know just like i can feel it i pick up on stuff really easily too as i feel judgment whenever i talk about video games online when i still was on facebook or you know, like, I don't know, people think I'm such a loser, and I'm like, I'm having fun. Your idea of fun is Starbucks. Mine is Zelda, and mine is Red Dead 2. Mine's video games. Yeah, everybody's different. Ooh, yeah, let's go get the, it's just one girl, so she won't be so hard. Yes, there we go. God, somebody's already shooting guns. Dude, get out of my house. But yeah, I definitely get, um, <laughs> I either hear crickets or I get weird looks when people's like, oh, so what'd you do this weekend? Oh man, I was on a uh, Red Dead Online and yeah, man, I got me, I upgraded my horse or I got me a new weapon or I, you know, people's like, oh, <laughs> because <laughs> I'm 37 I'm a girl I don't know my generation was like um you know what I'm saying like it's still kind of bordered on conservative and old fashioned in a way you know like I'm supposed to find joy in just getting my nails done and getting Starbucks and watching Grey's Anatomy honey honey if you can put a video game in front of me I'm happy as shit forgive my language this is adventurous, man. Who doesn't want to go on an adventure? Starbucks ain't no adventure, honey. You're overpaying for coffee beans. Now, I'm still defensive, ain't I? Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, this is the forest where those old hillbillies live. Let me see if you guys commented. Yeah. Just making sure. I always check like every couple minutes see if you guys said something. Oh man, buddy, I didn't mean to hit you. Alright. Hopefully she'll be pretty easy money, but I bet not. I bet she's going to be rough. Does she have anybody with her? Can't see. Aw, oh, man, it's one of those ones where I got to... Oh, well, hold on, buddy. I'll, I'll accept your uh, friend request if that's one of you guys. I think it is. Let me get through this real quick, and I'll go see how to accept them. What's this? Oh God, is that a sacrifice? Oh Jesus, help us. 
Wow, this is cool. I didn't know there was stuff like this here. What the heck? Oh, it's a tarot card. Okay. Hey. Let's get that, and then we're going to go examine. And then I'll accept your friend request. Hold on one minute, buddy. Let's see. Focus on the clue, inspect. Gosh. So, I don't like this because sometimes it doesn't even lead to anything. Honey, stand up. I didn't tell you to crouch down. When I feel it, I feel a vibration. Yo. No, the horse, you're like pushing me out of the way, please. How do I sound like Sadie? <laughs> that's all, that's a compliment. Thank you. Um, yeah, let me do this. Let me find this girl real quick and I'll go see how to, uh, add you. My name on here is Aquastar007. I don't know if that helps. Right there, you can see it, Aquastar007. I don't know if that's what you mean by PSN. Because I don't, honestly, this is the first time I've ever been on an online game, to be honest with you. Ever. So I, I don't know how to add anybody or nothing. But yeah, let me find Francine real quick. Lady, get up. Keep crouching down. Let's see. Francine. Uh, oh, I got, I'm getting friend requests, so you guys are sending them successfully through. Yep, hold on one minute. Let me find Francine real quick, and then I'll go see how to do that. I just want to get that money. Francine! Where is she? Francine, my love, you've left me in the mist. I just want to take you to prison. That's all. Well, at least it's daylight now. Oh, okay. Yep, hold on one minute. Let's find Francine and then I'll go see if I can add you. Search the area. Oh, come on. Why? Why can't I just find you? I would have much rather just shot some people. <laughs> that deer was just standing there looking at me. Where'd she go? Why is she why is she like that? Now I did this one time and I could not find the person like at all. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. Oh no. Where where is it? Where is that it? Oh, I see ya, bitch. I see you. Where did it go? Oh my God, that was so weird. Did you see that? Was that like part of the game? What the heck? Oh 
Oh, maybe she got attacked. Yup, I bet old Francine got attacked. And it's still up there hissing too. Come here, horse! Bro, I left you way behind. Dude, I can seriously... I heard a, a bobcat. Man, my, uh, a lot of my family lives in Kentucky, and my grandma did. She just passed away a couple years ago. And when we would go stay with her, there was mountain lions up on this big mountain, and they would scream. And they sounded like a woman. It sounded like a woman screaming. They were like, wow, wow. It, it, but it's a weird sound. It's even weirder than that. Dude, come on. Them old rocks ain't got you. I think I found her. Or, no, it's a stupid bear, man. What the hell? Francine! There she is. There she is! Where? Where is she? Oh, there she is. Hi, Francine, I've came to get you. No. Francine, I'm I'm so sorry. Wait, no, I don't want to pick you up yet. I am and I and I appreciate you not wanting to kill me and stuff, but and I knocked her out. Let me Come on. Dude, she ain't dead, is she? I thought I could Wait a minute. How do I hog tie? There we go. Okay. Good, good, good. Lost jewelry rings. Okay, pick her up. All right, yep, yeah, let me get this, let me get her delivered and then I'll go see about accepting friend requests. <coughs> Let's hurry up and get her where they want her. She's probably gonna have some friends that aren't gonna be too happy about this. Probably gonna flatten a few squirrels during this run. Now, if I might wait until the last 30 seconds to drop her off, because if you wait until like the last 30 seconds, it actually, um. Whoa! 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 Um, if you wait till the last 30 seconds, it actually gives you more money. But then again, there's a player up there just seen I had a bounty, so I don't know if I trust him. Which, I mean, I'm in defense, but still. God, this road is stupid. Yeah, if you wait till like the last minute or last 30 seconds of the bounty, um, you get more money for it. So let's just see. But then there's somebody coming and that makes me uncomfortable. But we'll see. I'm just gonna stand right here by the door so I can run in whenever I want. Yeah, that's weird. I don't know. It, that's what happened to me just now as I seen a cougar and then it disappeared. I guess I'm lucky it didn't attack me. But I thought it was like implying that that Francine had been attacked or something. 
Uh, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Let me drop her off when I can and we'll see. Like, I'm like, I'll add you. And then if you want to wait like a week or so for me to kind of build my character up a little bit more, then I'll definitely join you. That is creepy. I don't know why. I don't know why it did that. I don't know if that had something to do with Francine or, or it was just a does a cougar ghost or something that's weird i was happy to shoot it though man that would have been a good pelt i know this but i'm taking a break anyway so we'll sit here and take a break while we wait for the clock to go down you get more money if you turn the bounties in late now the only like missions it, it does that too like if you run a stranger mission or any kind of mission and you wait till the last 30 seconds and turn it in or whatever, uh, you get more money, more gold, more experience. But the only role that it won't do that, do that for you with is trader role. Like when you're riding your wagon into town to deliver it, just go on and deliver it as soon as you get there because you don't get extra money or nothing for waiting till the last 30 seconds. I just want to get max amount of profits. But I'll definitely add you, Bobby. I might go on and drop her off. Let me go on and... No. There we go. And let me go on and drop her off real quick. We'll just go on and do it. It's under three minutes, so... This one's gonna be seeing the judge real soon. There's your money. Oh my god, that's awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm a pretty good shot and stuff. Oh, look, rank up 24. Hey. Let's see what it gave me. So I got a different kind of boots, a vest, pants, vest. Oh, a horse. Like a different color. Cuffed pants. Oh, the Mohawk Mane. Hey. Cool. Not bad at all. Okay, now, Bobby, tell me how where to find your friend request. You tell me right now where to find your friend request at. I'll wash my horse. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Hold on. I'll do that. Notifications. Where's... Oh, there it is. Yeah, hold on. It's just not showing my, my desktop to you. Um, but I'm here. Custom, honey, I don't want a custom list. Okay. All friends follow. Friend request. There we go. So you are A-U-A-J-X. Yep, that's you. Okay, I added you. Now, these other people, I don't know, and I'm afraid. I'm afraid I'm going to get attacked. What if I get attacked? All right, let's go back. There we go. I added you. You're on there. Yeah, that's what I'm saying is, is I'm afraid of... Uh, like, there's people that send them to me, and I just don't know. Like, I'm even afraid of you. <laughs> please don't attack me, dude. Please, please, for heaven's sakes. Have mercy on it, honey. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of them out there. Oh. 
That guy's down there eyeballing me. He knows I'm up to some good shit. Who is it? Who's coming up behind me? No. Uh-uh. Where are you? Is that you behind me? Haha, <laughs> that's you? Okay. Were you about ready to try to steal my horse? Please don't attack me. I'm begging you, please. Hi, it's me. Please don't attack me, honey. Please don't betray my trust. Uh, Okay, tell me where we're going or how to do it. Remember, I'm still new at this. Let me see. Is there a way where we can talk back and forth on headset? I mean, I'd obviously have to end my live stream, but... If there's a way where we could communicate faster, it may be better. Okay, so how do I accept that? Oh, okay. I see that. All right, there we go. Oh, Wolfpack, that's a cool name. That's exactly what I would have picked. But where's your horse, dude? You're like, it's me, don't run from me, it's me. Hey, is your character Native American? He may be off of this where he can't... Yeah, he may have left so he can play this. He can't hear me. Oh, there's your horse. Oh, I like that. That's the horse I was looking at the other night. I think I gotta level up a lot to get him, though. I'm a-coming. Now, you're going to have to guide me on this because, I, again, I've never been part of a posse or done this. So you've got to guide me, honey. That's the way it is. Yes, I am. Let me make sure I got enough bullets and stuff. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. Okay. If I die, we lose. Oh, shit. Okay. Yep, I sure will. Now remember, you, you give me some time getting used to this whole posse thing, okay? I'm a pretty good player, but you give me time. We'll blow its face off. Oh, okay. I will. I think I got some of those antique bottle things, too. Like, as soon as it comes on, I'll do that real quick. So just give me a second. I'll take some uh, health tonic. Yes, Red Dead is awesome. I love it. Thank God I was alive during this time of having such video games. Red Ben Clemson. Dresses like he's on the way to church. Acts like he's never heard a sermon. Rob enough trains. One of these companies is going to put a price on your head. Or maybe all of them. He's a hero to some folks. 
a villain to others, and most likely somewhere in between. Hey, this might interest you. A fella he used to run with lost his leg, became real bitter with it. He's got his self-invested yeah. interest in Ben's demise. Oh, cool. We're Me down in the desert. Mercer Station, he might tell you where to go. Okay, hold on. Let me get my health tonics real quick, buddy. Hold on. Let me get this. I'm getting into my satchel. Hold on. Hold on. There it is. Okay. Okay, I'm ready. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> That's a nice horse, man. Okay, so you want me to stay on my horse and behind you? Don't go on the train? Okay. Yes, honey, yes. Kick its ass. Yeah. We're gonna get it. Yeah. He's got a really good horse, man. I was eyeballing it in the stables the other day. It must have got spooked by something. Oh, is it another horse? Oh, you're bringing your other horse. Oh, that one's nice. See, it's what, what I love about this is the horses, man. Okay, so you don't want me to go on the train. Oh shit, that <laughs> dude fell off. Oh shit, get him. Where's those bounties at? Let's see. Shit, I hope I didn't kill it. I hope I didn't kill the bounty. I do that a lot.
God, there's so many bushes. Dude, if that's it. You're you're dead. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. You keep shooting me. Oh no, did we do something bad? Did something mess up? No. Shouldn't I get on the train? Come on, gun, stop doing that. It's so messed up. Uh, uh, honey, I got you, Dolores. I keep trying to go into this so I can get everybody. I'm gonna have to get my repeater. This thing, I have to keep reloading it so much. Dang, dude, there's so many enemies. Bro, get off my face. I'm tired of it. Oh, hold out my stupid revolver. Chill it. Alex's ass! Run, you bitch! It's what you get trying to mess with me. <laughs> the guy, like, died in the air and was hanging. Okay, there's one more dude. There he is. There's one. Blow its head off! Blow its head off, bitch! Bye! Oh, you got him hogtied. Oh. What? How could one bullet not kill that dude from a white rifle? That doesn't even make no sense. Dude, they need to get the fuck away from my horse. Yes, we did it, dude! You a corpse walking. <laughs> Catch one of these. Goddamn fools. That's it now. Whoa, man, you had to jump over that. That's crazy. running them through the bushes. <laughs> you guys forgive my language, man. I do have very bad language. Please forgive me. Where'd you? Oh, there you are. Oh, shit. Awesome, man. 
a cell if you don't mind. We did it, man. Is there? Oh, yeah, we could go back and get more. That's right. What the hell's wrong with you? Shut up. Everybody, shut up. horse is pissed because of all the bushes. All right, buddy, let me give you some stimulant. Dude, this is crazy. There's still an enemy down there, too. Yay, we did it, man. From the looks of it, they've learned their lesson. Leave them outside. I'll give you your paint. Okay, yeah, I'm not moving. <laughs> nope. <sighs> Woo wee, man, that was craziness. Craziness. Thank you, man. Thank you for that. I got $168 plus $795 XP in Bounty Hunter and just in regular experience. Dude, it's not letting me move. What's going on? Wonder why it ain't letting us move. Yeah, I know. Should I just go like refresh again? Maybe if I shoot, what if I, what? No, it ain't letting me do nothing. Oh, well, let me go to online. How do I join you? How do I do that? Okay, invite me and I'll join it. Yes, honey, we did it. Thank you. I hope I did pretty good. I know I killed a few people. Yeah, that's weird. It won't let us move. It's probably because it had our characters, like, in intertwined or something. <gasps> mm. 
Yep, I sure did. I got 795 XP, and I got two something in money, 200 and something. Dude, I'm happy with it, man. You did most of the work. I'm happy with it. Thank you. Thank you so much. I would have done this a long time ago, like joined posses and stuff, but I was always afraid of people attacking me. Ah. Oh, that's your Native American character. I could see his face now. Now that doesn't look like me. That does not look like me. <clears throat> it says processing invite. Last time it did it a lot faster, so we'll see. Bree, you still here, honey? She may be here watching. I know she plays. She could join us sometime. Alrighty. Hey, mud skipper. Let me clean him real quick so his cores won't go down real far. All right. Is that you? Oh, hi, Bree. All right, where are you, buddy? I don't know what to call you. I'm just going to call you Alex. Alex. There you are. Hey. Oh, you got my horse. Or one like it. Let's take some uh, tonics, I guess. I have the PlayStation 4. I'm on PS4, but you definitely should get it, honey, and get online. Because it is fun. And we know this guy is pretty cool to posse up with. At least he ain't a jerk. Lord, honey, you took off into the mist. Where is it? Now, I haven't started moonshining yet. I haven't gotten onto that yet. Oh, cool. Okay, Bree, you can just hang out and listen then. Okay, let me see. Let me take a pain pill, guys. My legs are killing me. I'm an old woman dying, dying of broken legs. Oh, yeah. You will not earn Moonshiner XP. Yeah, I haven't pur purchased the shack yet, but that's okay. If I get XP in general, that's cool with me. Okay, hey, I just found out that the Braithwaite's and Danny Lee are cooking shine. My legs are hurting. So, seeing as they gave me such a warm welcome on my return, I figure it's only polite to repay the favor. An old stash of explosives and good stuff. Excuse me. It should make short work of any stills they're using. Plenty of roots in there. You, you could hijack their supply wagon. You could even go by river. I'll leave that to you. It's time to hit them hard where it hurts. I don't know. You could ask this other guy or Google it real quick. Get on Google real quick and say Red Dead Online 2. Can someone on Xbox, Xbox play with somebody that's on PS4? You could Google it real quick. I would think so, but I don't know. Maybe you do have to be on the same platform. I have no idea. Oh, you can't. Oh, that sucks. Oh, Brie, you'd have to get a you'd have to get a PS4, babe. It's okay. 
We can still hang out and talk about fish. <laughs> or you can watch me play when I get on here. Isn't, yeah. Mm -hmm. That sucks. That would have been really fun. Okay, honey. I think she I think he answered it though and said that we can't. Like if you're on Xbox and I'm on PS4, we can't, babe. Oh shit, I'm in offensive. A stash of explosives. Okay, hold on. Just repositioning. All right. Let me take some tonic real quick, buddy, okay? I don't want us to get killed because of me. Boom, boom, bitch. I have to admit that's funny seeing your character do that. <laughs> what the hell? What the Sam hell? Oh, we got two lives on this, so that's cool. Oops, sorry. I'm coming. So we're just looking for moonshine? This is interesting. I've never played with somebody else before. Oh god, dude. <laughs> he just was like jumping on the fence post. You go get him, honey. Lord have, Lord have mercy. See, I don't see what he's seeing, and I think it's because I haven't started moonshining yet. I think, maybe, who knows.
We can't get in the house. They said to use a metal detector and look for her stash. Oh shit, you found it. Oh. Yeah. Search Scarlet Meadows for the stash of explosives. Okay. Let me look. I'll try to look too. Okay. I, uh, 
I've never started my moonshining campaign yet. I wonder if that has something to do with it. I wonder if it's like not showing up because I'm part of it. Yeah, just Google it. Yeah. Just Google it and they'll, it'll tell ya. Hi, Gypsy. I'll be back. Poor thing. I ignored my fish and my chihuahua today. Never mind. Is it like you can't find it? You can't find out what to do with it? Oh, did you find it? Oh, good. That's good. Oh, well, you got it. It was out in the woods. We're gonna blow something up, ain't we? Yes, yes! Let's see. Almost ran over you.
I found the stills. I think this is the stills, dude. I found them. What do I do? Do I blow them up? Oh, we blow it up? Okay. Here. Right there. I don't have no dynamite. did that right. <laughs> I haven't used dynamo. Uh, uh, well, you know, I haven't used that yet. Dynamite. why it does that sometimes it won't shoot there I'm on my wrong, I'm the wrong horse. That horse is drunk.
There's two more things we have to blow up. Once you get on my horse. Gun? Come on. Bro, where are you? I'll come get you. Where is you? a little confusing are we going back to the okay wait a minute we're going this way yeah. Yeah. yes honey we did it Did it say we didn't do it right? Did they say we didn't do it in time or something? That sucks. man that was craziness we can definitely do more bounties though because i know how to do those so we good then excellent dude that looks just like me back there that's like looking at me thought i'd find you here what the hell you think you're playing at it's all right that was a real dumb move I don't know what you're talking about. I thought I warned you. You know, all them years, I never realized just how much a coward you really are. Go to hell, Maggie. Oh, I already have. Well, let me tell you. You will like it. My God. Just look at these bastards, Danny. You think they're gonna give a single damn about you? I mean, who's this sap? Bartholomew Braithwaite. Yeah, I know who you are. Sorry, your family's running moonshine now, huh? How the mighty have fun. <coughs> You're finished. Stay finished. Oh, I swear, next time, you'll burn for good. You know, next time you should send someone more intimidating. Don't you worry about that. Come on. Thanks for stopping by, fellas. Oh, I barely even started. Come on, let's have that drink.
Oh man, it gave us a gold bar. Is that the... No, that ain't the front door. This is the front door. Ah! How do I... Exit. Oh, I have to push... Oh, that's weird. What the heck? There we go. <laughs> there you are. Boom, 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 chicka, 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 boom, boom. Oh, yeah. That train thing was fun, though, man. That was crazy. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know if you could still hear me or not. Yes. Yes. What are they? I'll see when it comes up. I'll see it. Now, Moonshine. I haven't gotten started on Moonshine yet. Now, this. I, ha I don't think I've done these either. But I'm up for it. I haven't ever done it before, but I'm up for it. Go get them, honey. So do we just push a uh, preferred team or do we wait till somebody else joins? Okay, gotcha. Yeah, it did. You're an imbecile. A what? An well, God. I'm sorry. He said he wouldn't run away. Shut up. But please, but just shut up. They're gonna fire me. Oh, you, you get to keep your job, but they'll fire me, and they've got every right to fire me, cause I'm the idiot who employed you. Oh, look, guests. <laughs> Are you a moron, partner? Huh? <laughs> well, you can't be any worse than us, because this idiot, this idiot right here, 
Just let the most notorious con man in the whole goddamn state walk clean out of a cell, clean out, and not a shot fired. Now, uh, if you get him back for us, we'll happily pay you. How about that? Good. Good. Now, see, what I figure is I figure he's headed on down to Pike's Basin, so you go down the canyon, and you get him, and I'm gonna beat this poor dumb bastard with a stick, and I'll try and join you on the other side. Come on. Now after this I may have to go get more bullets and clean my gun, okay? Yeah, mine are dirty. I gotta go clean them and then just get bullets and I'm ready. Ah, oh, here they come. Oh my god, are you fucking serious?
know. I've got money. I've got a lot of money. And I'll pay. I'll pay a lot. Hey, here's an idea. Take my hat. Put it on the dead guy over there. Take him in as me. I go free. And you get rich. Oh, wait. And I won't, I won't. kill anybody else. I swear. I'm reformed. I'm a changed man. I always kill him or please, take him in. <laughs> I never accept. You set me free. Have a heart. Come on. Refuse it, man. Come on. You, you don't need to do this. Fine. Take me in then. You're too dumb to know a good deal when you hear one. You better hit him if he tries to come off. Tries to get out of his hog tie. Whoa. Yes, we were the ones good. that was like the first to deliver him. Got him. Good, real good. Look, put him up on my horse there. I, I didn't do There's nothing. The money I promised you. But you, 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 oh, no, you. take that, bitch. Nicer. I've got money. Watching you die. I've got a lot of money. Just name your price, and I'll make you rich. Oh, dude, be quiet. Hello, boy. See you later.
Oh my god, I had my mic off. I said I'm gonna go to Tumbleweed and get my bullets. Um, just because it's closer and I don't want to spend the money to fast travel. But it's like right down the road, so that's what I'm gonna hit up as Tumbleweed. If you want to go to Valentine, you can and I'll definitely wait. I had my mic off. I'm so sorry. I was like talking to you. But it's right down the it's right down the road. I don't want to spend the money. I'm broke. Tumbleweeds right down the road. Bro, I don't want to use the money for that, honey. Here, we'll do this. I'm going to be right up there. <laughs> you go on and go in the gun shop. Get what you need, and I'm coming. I'm right behind you. <laughs> I am going to keep my $2. <laughs> I'm a cheap woman, honey. But I'm a coming. I'll be there in one second. Yeah, that other guy, I don't know. I think he was part of our mission or something. I think he's still back there, too. Almost there. Next time I'll spend the $2. <laughs> All right. Yeah, just hold on. Let me get my, uh, let me get my bullets and stuff. I haven't gotten there yet. <laughs> Sorry. I'm almost there though. thought it was going to be like eight dollars to travel there yeah I'm coming my horse is just stressed out <laughs> Alrighty. Let me tie this guy up. He's sweating to death. Cletus. I got to it from. has been a while. Cletus, I agree. I meant to stop by, but you know how it is. Well, Weapon looks good. You've been cleaning that good, I can tell. Well, if you like, I can give that thing a few tweaks. Oh yeah, I had seven bullets for my rifle. Make sure you stock up on bullets. I think that's it. Yo yo yo! I think that's it. I might buy some tonics though, real quick though. you look around sure there's something you need
tonics. Pleasure. All right, I'm ready whenever you are. If you want to do a legendary bounty or whatever you want to do, I'm definitely ready. When you are. Like, if you're busy with something, I'll wait. I'm ready to. You pull me into it whenever you want. <laughs> I can't. There's somebody attacking me right when I left. Somebody getting mad at me. Mean old people. Man, if I had known that Red Dead Online was this fun, I would have started this, like, a couple years ago. I'm serious. I didn't know it was this cool. Oh, okay. Good. That sounds All good. All right. Etta Doyle. Used to be known as Madame La Pearl. She runs a gang of other fallen women. Sticking up trains and coaches mostly. But seems to have a particular fancy for robbing Leviticus Cornwall of late. So his men have set a honeypot to lure her in. Tipped her off about a big stash of money and ammunition at Cornwall's freight yard in Saint Denis. Who is ta who is talking about me? Just be careful. They play smart. Now this must be them. Okay, we gotta move fast here. Come on. Now the bait's already been set. Edda Doyle and her girls will be here any minute. Mr. Cornwall, you don't want to stay anywhere near this for reasons I'm sure you can understand. Just wants it dealt with quick and quiet. You're gonna want to ensconce yourself in here. Now wait till they bust in, and then, when the moment's right, ambush Miss Doyle and escort her into custody. They want her alive. You get paid, you get rid of her, everyone's happy. Now don't worry about her cronies. She's the one with the price on her head. They're notorious for dressing alike. So you bide your time, you figure out which one's doing. You'll know for sure when you see her face. Got a big old scar down her right cheek. We're just gonna hang around and stand guard, create some semblance of security, and just pray the crazy bitch don't bust in and shoot us straight in the face. All right, now it's time. 
find a place to hide, and we'll wait for the guest of honor. <laughs> You're all, uh, boy, nobody could recognize you. <laughs> okay, let's see. Ooh, is it going to be hard? Where should I go hide? Oh, oh, okay. Hold on. Whoa. We're all in here like sardines. I think Arkansas is part of our gang now. I think he was with us last time, wasn't he? Scared to death.
gonna reckon she's something special. And only that to me herself. That's cause she ain't stupid. She knows I don't forgive her gift. Wait, 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 wait. You got him alive. Retribution shall be visited. We pay on receipt of good, so there you go. Oh man, that was crazy. It's a bunch of women. It was a women gang. Like me. Big mean female like me. Okay. I'm going to grab some yogurt real quick. I was just grabbing some yogurt. All right. Oh, shit. <laughs> you ran right into that gate, man. Whoa, buddy. Oh, yes. Ooh, oh God. Ooh. Dude, this spoon has a hair wrapped around it. I'm gonna die. Oh seems to have a knack of finding good people. Oh, Arkansas doesn't know what's going on because, like, it ain't talking. They ain't talking to you, so they didn't know you were gonna add them to the moon shack. 
exit. I exited. Okay, we're waiting here. That guy's here too. <laughs> Our new friend, Mr. Arkansas. His last name's Green and his pants are green. Skip a baby. All right. <clears throat> I'll protect you guys. Yeah, I will. Speaking of which... is freaking out. It's like throwing me everywhere. ran and then I ran Oh, that's good. We only lost two bottles.
Next time, like, it's okay, like, if I go ahead, let me go on and go, like, a few feet ahead of you guys, where I can kill those people in the roadblock are coming up. Let's see. Oh, that's your horse. Where's mine? Dude, calm down, horse, for real. Calm down. <gasps> My horse freaks out every time. Your horse is a oh, it's is it his horse he's hollering for? Or is that you hollering? Oh, yeah. I feel something vibrating. There's something vibrating around your, your shack, dude. Why are you shooting? What's up with you? Where did it go? I know there's something around here. Oh! Oh yeah! Thank you! Thank you so much. I knew I felt it. Oh, we need to add Arkansas. He's a pretty cool guy. helping us out man we're just leaving him behind <laughs> let me see oh he's level 10 He fell off his horse because of me. There we go. I added that Arkansas, that Arkansas dude. Oh my god, I didn't even see your messages where you saying that was a collectible thing. I'm so sorry. I'll have to keep coming back and checking it. Like, I keep looking down at my phone, but I ain't as good at it as I think I am. Like, I ain't doing it as often as I am. I'm sorry, honey. You were trying to tell me that was there. Exit.
downstairs? Okay. Hold on, I'm coming. Come on. There we go. It let me in. I'm coming. Me and your boss will be running this whole state within the year. How? Oh. Oh, okay. I've never been in a moonshine shack in this game. So I had no idea. A good sail. Excellent. Excellente. Hey. Have you ever drank moonshine before? It's strong. It's so strong, man knocks you like even when you drink it like I don't know just the in your nose and in your sinus cavity like it's so strong I will. Oh, I'll do this. I love to dance. Hey, oh. Hey, 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 oh. Hey, 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 oh. Hey, 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 oh. I'm down in the south of Tennessee. Met my girl, she's so pretty. Hey, hey, hey. Sorry. I'm such a dork. I'm so sorry. I gotta go pee. I'll be right back. It'd take five seconds.
All right, I'm back. Yes, I hope y'all had a good time. We sure did. All right. Hold on, just getting situated for a second. <clears throat> okay. All right, I'm all done. Sorry these days. Aren't you so glad we have video games? Like, really good video games like this. It's so interesting. It's like um, going on adventures and not even having to leave your house, you know. And some of us aren't financially able to go out and do things kind of like this. You know what I mean. So, I love it. I'm so thankful. Oh, that guy's still with us. That's cool. Set it down there. Woo! Permission to come aboard. So, this here is the merchandise. It's top notch stuff, so be careful with it. Come on. Help me get Oh, little money. gypsy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm just going to play for there, another landlord. hour, honey, and I'll come be with you. Uh, will. It will. Wait. Where are the wagons? I, I arranged two drivers. Mmm. God damn it. I'm going to play for like another maybe half hour, 45 minutes. And then I got to go eat and I need to spend time with my dog. She's been begging me all day. But I'll play like a couple more. This one and like another one I'll play with you. This is Ancient Reed Hickson of the Bureau of Internal Revenue. Lemuel Fox, you are under arrest for the manufacture and distribution of an illegal substance, escaping state custody, running bail, and tax evasion. And today, we will bring the fullest force of the law down upon you. You just can't stop running your mouth, can you, you moronic hick? You need to watch who you talk to. Move in and bag those rats, and bring fight to me. You hold them off. I'll try and start the engine. Is that a movie? Oh. Flippin' flappy. Ah. The screen must stay in dark.
Get! Coming right up to me. Come on! Get on there with you.
who's shooting me? Who the fuck is shooting me? Oh my god. Get on, dude. I don't think he knows he can get on my horse. Come here. Get on. That's it. Come on. Okay, yeah. Dude. He doesn't know he can get on my horse, and I keep trying to tell him he can. There's your horse, dude. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Let's see. Yep, I'm fine. I was trying to get that guy to get on my horse, but I don't think he knows he can. Okay. I think that's oh! Christ, that was a close one. I'll check that. Once we get back to a normal, a normal screen, I'll check that. All right, that's the last one. Oh, thank you. Goddamn revenueers. It's like Hickson's got some six cents or something. I'll find how this got out, believe you me. Starting with them drivers. Can't trust anybody these days. Anyway, at least we got what we came for. I'll see you back at the house. Yeah. We did it. Yeah, I want to do another one. Let's do another one. You pick it. 
I might have to go get more bullets, though, again. Like, whatever town we're in or whatever. Uh, excuse me. Oh, that is right. You can. That is right. I always forget about that. I'll do that. As soon as we get back to a normal screen, I'll do that. I totally forgot about that. Then I've got, if I have gun oil, I should be able to, should be able to clean my gun. Ah! No longer, the moon shack, moonshine shack is no longer accessible. I wonder why it said that. All right, let me see. Let me get some ammunition. Go back. Hmm. Oh, man, I can't wait till I can get high velocity repeater bullets oh did it can you get back in Yeah, it would, but I don't think I'm high enough level. I think I have to be, like, uh, rank 34 or something like that. Yeah, I want it. Like, in the base game, you know, that's all I ever use is those high velocity. I just got to buy uh, rifle bullets. Hold on. <clears throat> Only take a second. Come on. Yep, I was down really low. Dude, it's putting them in my camp box, though. It ain't putting it, like, where I need them. Oh, yeah. Let me see. So they're in my camp? Or whose camp? Your camp? Or my camp? Oh, oh, okay, I got it. Okay, I'm coming. Fast travel. Yeah, I'm coming. I think it's bringing, I think I chose the right one. It's coming to you. Yep. 
All right. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I've done a few treasure things, a few of them, like yesterday, and I got a new one because I ranked up, but I, I'd much rather just do a mission with you real quick. Let me see what tonics I have. See, I've only got, well, that is right, though. I've got those antique bottles I could always use, too. You're running around like a madman. Oh, there's Stu. Oh. Oh, how nice of you. Just pick a bounty or a mission for us. Sorry. Oh my god, why ain't it ain't shooting. Sometimes my gun won't shoot. I don't know why it does that. And I reload it.
Oh, that's cool. Oops. Oh, gosh. I've been playing it about every day. I'll definitely play with you. It's a lot funner. Um, this is definitely a lot funner than running missions by myself, that's for sure. see wonder if I have some let me see how I can clean my gun I haven't done that even on the even on the standard base game I didn't do that for a long time so let me just see why you run and get that other bag um oh I know yep yeah, I knew what you were doing let me see got me some gun I know I got gun oil there it is so let's go like this. Yep, I see that. Thank you. I just did it. I hadn't, even in the base game, I had earned so much money. I had like 20k. That I would just get them cleaned at the gun shop. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, no, I didn't know until I... I didn't know until I seen what you said. <laughs> so you did tell me. I just had progressed like so far or gotten so much money in the base game that I never even cleaned my own guns anymore for a long time. <laughs> Sorry about that. I accidentally unplugged my headset. <laughs> Are you getting attacked? Do I need to protect you? Where'd you go? <laughs> no stay? Oh. Oh, are you doing something? Oh. I thought you had gotten, like, the session, session had kicked you again and, like, it dropped the bag. Dude, I think our, our home skillet, that one dude, I think that's him over there. That one that's been, like, playing with us. I already forget his name.
That's what I like to see. Trader rank up, thank you. Ah, nice. Hold on, let me see. Ooh, that's a nice buckle. Stew pot? Are you serious? I can unlock that? Thank you. Thank you, daddy. Oh, that's a really, really cool saddle. I'm going to buy that, baby. Who's shooting? Who's shooting? Who's going to get killed? Tell me now. Who is it? Don't buy the saddle. That's the exact dog I was going to get is the Siberian Husky, the red one. Till it, when does it get unlocked? Because I know it ain't unlocked yet. Not for me. Oh, I will. Yep. I will then. Who's shooting? Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you so much, honey. I will certainly pay back the nice niceness by helping somebody else someday. I know it's just a game, but still. Someday when I'm all leveled up and I can help and know everything, I'll definitely help somebody else. Is this my horse or yours? Is that my horse? Yeah. I'm just going to tie him up. Hey, Bree. You still here, sweetie? I'm just going to wash my horse. Yeah, I'll definitely be on tomorrow. Um, I'll be away. Well, I'll be online probably around like... I want to say like 8, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in the U.S. I'm in Ohio, USA. I get on every day. And I probably will pretty much for the next couple months. But I'll be online around like 9 p.m., uh, Eastern Standard Time, U.S. Time. Aw. You may want to get you some sleep, honey. It's late. Where are you at? What state are you in? Oh, is he up? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Maybe like seven. Um, maybe like six, like 6 p.m. What about 6 p.m.? Yep, you're a sister state. You're right north of me. Where you live at, Bobby? What time? What times? Like what time zone or whatever? Like tell me, so then I'll know. Like about what time you get online? <clears throat> See you later. I can adjust my sleeping schedule too. I've just gotten kind of on third shift scheduling again with my sleep. 
central. Um, is, is like 6 p.m. good for you? That would be like, uh, what would that be, like 2 p.m. for you? Or 3? Oh no. over a good guy. Yeah, I think it's an hour behind. Wrong by three hours. That would be like California, I think. I could be on around like six or seven. As long as you play into the night. Like if you, you know, as long as you are online around that time, we could at least do a, a, few, mis a few missions together. Forgive me, I stutter something awful. Yeah, I think it's... Oh, yeah, one more. Yeah, we can definitely do that. Let's do it. Homeboy's getting all the looting, but that's okay. He's a low level. That's okay. Yeah. Are you a boy or a girl, Bobby? Man, I've ate like this this whole thing of yogurt. Them out, 
They help us out when the revenuers come round asking questions. Anyway, there's a bar near here that's having a few problems. I'm not sure what exactly, but I said I'd send someone over to sort it out for you. And I know what a good Samaritan you are. Ooh, I'm feeling something vibrating. There must be something around that house. <clears throat> I'll have to come back in my free room. Oh my god! <laughs> Uh, there's a witness to me killing that guy. He tried to attack you and I shot him. What the heck? Why is people shooting at us, dude? Dude, come on, we gotta get out of here. I don't know where Arkansas went. 
His horse is like dead too. He's still he's still riding that scrawny ma uh, nag or whatever they're called. Heck, you're gonna have to hog tie him. Hog tie him. Wow, I wonder what happened. Looks like the game glitched, man. Or do you just stand in front of him? The game is glitching. It's like jumping around. Did he kill it? Oh man, my phone died. My phone died, honey. Like I can't even get it to come on. Um. I'll try to be on by 6, 6.30 uh, tomorrow p.m., which would be like, what, like 4 or 5 for you? Something like that. So, yeah, my phone died. Yeah, I think he did. Yeah. It seems like he... Yeah, something happened. So. Yeah. This was fun, though, man. This was really awesome. I wish we could have got that guy back to his house. <laughs> he was pretty drunk. Yeah, I seen him, too. Yeah. His horse was, like, hopping all over the place. <laughs> his horse hopping all over the place. But yeah, my phone's dead, so. This was fun, though, man. Thank you. Aw, thank you. Aw, it was fun, honey. Alright, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Let me plug in my phone real quick. I'm going to have to call my fiancé in a little bit. I don't know why he hasn't contacted me. Let me plug in my phone. 
then you guys can uh, just keep watching. I'm going to play for a little bit longer, just at least till my phone charges. Maybe about 10 or 15, 20 minutes. Well, that was interesting. At least I finally found somebody that I can play with that isn't a jerk. That Arkansas green guy was pretty cool. Put that up. Okay. All right. Let's see what we can do. I might just go do some trading real quick. Easy, simple, non boom boom bang bang game. Uh, oh, yeah. Let me get back to defensive. Somebody's going to attack me. I know it. That's a big old ram. Did it go the other way? Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> I guess it really thought it could get me, but nope. Sorry, honey. That ain't the way it's going to work. I was like super scared when I first added that guy. I think it's a guy. Um, because I was like, I didn't know if he was going to attack me or do what, you know, but thank God he didn't or she, it could be a girl. Uh, Ooh, wait a minute. There was something by Blackwater I was filling. Um, let's see. When I went past Blackwater, it felt like there was a, uh, yeah, I can't see you guys' comments. My phone's charging. But here in about 15 minutes, though, I'll try to turn it back on. Um, when we were in Blackwater, I was feeling like a, uh, vibration around one of those houses. So let's go back and see what that's all about. Yeah. It was, like, right around this place. So let's go do that. Black water bay heading on out to black water bay <laughs> Sorry. I know you guys are just like wow this girl is nuts. Man, you know what story I've been looking up online and I can't stop watching videos about it and documentaries about it is that Chris Watts case. Wow, that guy that killed his pregnant wife and two little girls. Are you kidding me? Gosh, that's terrible. And, like, his wife was cool, man. She had her thing. She spent too much money and stuff. And I do think she kind of dominated him and boss bossed him around and stuff. But still, dude, get a fucking divorce and stop getting her pregnant. Jeez. She still was sweet, though. And there's a lot of people online that say she was such a bad mother and this and that. And, dude, I'm telling you, that that girl's kids, that woman's kids, always had the biggest smiles on their face. So I don't know where people's getting that she was a bad mother. I really don't. Yeah, see, it's vibrating. There's something around here. I'm going to get it, too. Ooh, that's a cool dog. What is it? Is it a... Oh, it's a bloodhound. Hey, buddy. Oh, this looks like a big mastiff, man. Oh, love, love dogs, man. Yeah, there's a tarot card. Cool.
But thank you. I'm going to call you um, Bobby, I guess. Thank you so much for joining me, Bobby. That was so nice, honey. I miss you already. Like, if my phone hadn't have went dead, I would have. We could have stayed on here. I don't think we could have communicated as good. But like tomorrow, um, I'll make sure my phone's charged, and um, I'll put on my headset too, and I'll live broadcast so you can hear me. And I'll be on by six thirty, seven p.m. How much money do I have? I have 663. Because of him, all that was so nice. So nice. I was hustling, man. I was uh, hustling and bustling to get what I did have, but that person definitely helped me out. Um, I kind of want to get another shirt, but I don't know. I don't think that's so important. I wonder if I've leveled up enough to get a wagon. Let's go to the stables. Aren't the stables down here? No. See, there's something vibrating again. Dude, some goodies laying around here, honey. But let's see what was vibrating. Come on now. I bet it's up on the roof. Oh, yeah, hold on, guys. Just let my phone charge for maybe 10 minutes, and I'll check you guys' comments for sure. Um, just Even just 10 minutes, let it charge up. It was, like, dead, like the screen went black and everything. Uh, there has to be something up here. Oh. Is this it? I can feel something. Dude, I wonder where it is. Am I just passing it up? Inside? Let me go see. Oh, yeah. Hold on. They're locked. Let's try upstairs. <laughs> These old people just think this is what people used to do. Ooh. Is that a, the naughty, naughty room? The bathroom?
Jeez. Hello. Hi. Oh, nice. Fancy sauce. Hey, thank you. Thank you, Bobby. You're the smartest one, honey. You've always been the most clever, clever in the bunch. Clever little weasel. Little walrus. Yes. Those collectibles, man, you can get a lot of money out of them. And then let's go to the stable and see if I've unlocked the wagon for trading yet. I doubt it, but we'll just go check. In the base game, my thing was stilling horses and training them and then selling them for profit. And sometimes I would find really expensive horses. Well, you know, kind of expensive. And um, now in the online version, it don't let you do that. It don't let you like, like take wild horses or still horses and sell them and make a profit. I'll call you Bobby. Yeah. I don't know why I said Alex earlier. It was a few hours ago. I was like, I'm just going to call you Alex. Wait. I don't think I've un... No. Level 10. And I don't think... I, I think I'm like level 4 trader or something like that. All right, let's see. Say it is kind of boring not having somebody to play with now. Um, let's do a bounty. Ooh, somebody shooting and a carrying on. Who is it? Yeah, the phone should be charged here in at least just 15 minutes or something. The charge is pretty fast. Meh. Let's do an easy one. <laughs> Wanted for theft and the brutal assault of an officer of the law. They should have given, like, some of these people funny stories, which I think they did, actually. Is that? Oh, that's your horse. But that guy, like, his face is real funny looking. They should have gave him a funny story, like, that he stills chickens or something. <laughs> For the assault of a turkey. But yeah, moonshine, like what I was saying earlier, moonshine is so strong. I had it a few times, and it's like liquid fire. I don't like alcohol as it is. And moonshine is like, when you drink it, it's like liquid fire. Literally, it gets in your sinuses. It's crazy. I can't believe people drink that stuff willingly and like all the time. And these people back in the old days did, man. They really did. They drink stuff like that every day. It's called a cut across the field. Ka, ka, ka. So pretty. Pretty. Let me tell you, honey, if it wasn't for video games, I don't know what I would do with myself. And who is that sneaking up on me? Who is it? Ah, 
ain't going to be a good pelt, but I had to do it. Yeah. Ugh. See how the horse bucked me? Now, is there, like, the other horses, the better horses in this game? Like, I know that they'll be faster and all of that, but what about, um, like, their bonding? Can uh, These, like, more expensive horses and better horses. Oh, my God. Is there another one? No. Please be a snake. Like, these more expensive, better horses in there, can you, um, like, bond higher with them or they wouldn't buck you? Because if not, then I'm just going to keep this horse and never worry about buying another one. I'm pretty sure there's a cat behind there. Oh, it's a snake. Look at it rattling at me. Oh, that's sad. We will kill it, though. <laughs> oh, <laughs> We're gonna get it and skin it. Get it, is get it. Oh, it's over here. All right, hey buddy. You shouldn't have been making yourself known like that. See, let's skin it. gypsy cob so like it won't buck you that's what I want is I want one that won't because this one has knocked me off so many times whenever there's a cat coming after me or people even people it will throw me off and I'm fully bonded with it and I know in the base game a lot of those better horses like bond much deeper Oh, wow. That'd be awesome. I bought the, um, what's it called? Uh, like the special edition or ultimate edition of Red Dead. So in the base game, I got this horse. It was a thoroughbred, but a certain color. Brayton. Um, but it was like a certain color or something that I got with the game, with the purchase of the, like, ultimate game or what, you know what I mean. The, the addition that I happened to purchase um, got gave me this really nice horse. It was a thoroughbred and it had a certain color and it's super fast and super loyal and so I did really good. Really good with that horse from the get-go in that game in the story mode. This guy gets, he's fast, he's pretty fast. His stamina's good and he's pretty. But he bucks me, and then he ain't the fastest, you know. It's not like the fastest you can get. The American Standard Bread Palomino, too, in the game, in the other, in the storyline of the game with Arthur and John, like, it was a good horse, and I actually stole it from this guy. I didn't even buy it. I just stole it. And that was one of my favorite horses. His name was Maggie. And I kept it in my stall. I never got rid of it, even though I had better horses. That is a really fast, obedient horse, man. All right, let's see. All righty. Oh, horse. I know. That's not fair.
No. Not yet. Come on, buddy! Get get that out of my bitch! Die! God! Come on! Oh, cool, he's running! Yeah! Yeah! Get off the rock! No! Get Ooh, these stupid rocks! Dude, bro! See? Ready? Come on. Hurry, sister. Hurry, sister, mister. This was an easy one, but still. At least it gives me money. I had totally forgotten about that. I had taken that cougar, and I should have known. Oh, nice. Come here, horse. I'm sorry. Oh my god. Oh. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude, for such a low bounty, man. Such a hassle. Well, at least I didn't kill him. Just kicked him in the face. Just kicked it in the face. Uh, that's all right. That's cool, though. I like when the bounties try to run, especially outright towards you. <laughs> that's happened to me a few times. They start running right at me. I just hog time and take off. Oh, my horse is hungry, not me. Durr. I am going to sit here until like the last three minutes at least. So kind of take a break. I'm going to go over here and stretch my legs. Um, and then I'll turn in this bounty and then I'm going to turn off the game for just a little bit. Um, let my phone fully charge. And I need to get a hold of my fiance and see where he is. Um, I hope he's okay. I know he's been working a lot. I'm at least just going to get it under three minutes because I think you do get more money and more experience. Let me get this phone going, guys. It's at 36%. That's good. Yeah. Galaxy S9 Plus, man. My fiance bought that for me in October, November of 2018, and this phone is freaking awesome. It hasn't slowed down one bit. This battery's good, too, man. Now, I had the uh, the S4, and its battery was terrible. Like, I couldn't be on there longer than an hour doing anything, and I had to charge it. I love strawberry. I think this is a really pretty place. Really pretty, pretty place. <laughs> Yeah, this is amazing, man. I, if I had known that online was this fun, I would have done this a long time ago. 
And thank you for playing with me, Bobby. That was so cool, honey. If you're going to be up in the next couple hours, we can play again within the next couple hours. I just want to get a hold of my dude and see what's up with him. Kind of stretch my legs a little bit. And thank you for being with me too, Bree, if you're still here, honey. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed it, watching us run missions and... All that good stuff. I'd say this is one of my most favorite towns. Yeah, let me get the phone. Yeah, mine's bad, too. Yeah, I'm back on here. Yeah. I can see you guys' texts now. My sleep schedule's bad, too, man. I got on, like, uh, through February, like, all of February, I was on first shift. I'd wake up at, like, 7, 8 in the morning, and I felt great. But now, since, I, and it was because of Red Dead Online, I finally got online with this game, and I screwed up my hours, because I stayed up for like 12 hours playing it. I'll probably go to bed around 10 or 11, something like that today. <laughs> and that's what I mean, I'll try to be up by 6 p.m. tonight. Either way, I'll definitely be on by 7 and 8, definitely. Yeah, let's go on and take this person in. Well, you'll get the going rate as soon as they're in a the cell. Heyman's here. I've been doing the daily ch challenges too. Like I'm 14 days or something like that. Like I've been keeping up with that to get more XP and gold or. Whatever you benefit from it, I've seen from some YouTuber talking about it. But yeah, I'm going to go on and actually get off of here for now. Um, I'm going to stretch my legs, let my phone charge some more. Um, get a hold of my dude, see where he is. And probably eat something. I'm starving and that yogurt probably isn't what I need to fill myself up on. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I will broadcast live again later on, probably been in an hour or two, something like that. So thanks for watching and thank you for being with me, Bobby, Bree, anybody watching, thank you so much and I hope you have such a good day. Bye.